of a dying star rays glimmering flares flash and glare from afar the tiniest flicker on the edge of the sky supernovas collapse in the blink of an eye the man it would call on the deeds of the few we would see this burden But it went fast our way back home again. Is there something left to say? What if we find ourselves alone again? Is there something left to say? This trust will not be torn apart. Control. to be first the so little hope on this path we pursue but we will see this burden ladies and gentlemen the new chief Ta-da! Hello, everybody. Hi out there, all my little turtle hawks. How you doing? Chief here. Coming to you live from the Turtle Hawk Emporium, a.k.a. the basement. <laughs> and if you notice, I have new hair coming out the back of my head. Lots of new hair. Broader shoulders. Just kidding. 
All I did was zoomed in a little bit. Why is this so loud? Hold on, I'm getting an echo. Hold on, this is bootleg. I love scotch. I love scotch. Scotch is scotch, scotch. It Here it goes scotch. down, down into my belly. Mm -mm -mm. I need some scotch. Jay, thank you so much, Jay. Five dollars super chat. Call me a sink, cause I'm dripping wet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna turn me red, Jay. Woo! All right. Yikes. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta go take Sarah care of something real quick. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jay. Much appreciated. All right, so uh, let me uh, just double check here that we're alive and everything looks okay. Ah, it's so loud. Okay. All right, um, yeah, it looks like we're here. Nice. All right, perfect. All right, we are live here at the Turtle Hawk Emporium, like I said. You know what today is, sorry I'm late, you know, I'm like an hour and a half late, you know, uh, but there's a reason. There's a reason I'm late, and I posted that in the Discord, so if you guys are members of the Discord, you know why I was late. And that's because my new chair came in finally after almost two months of waiting for this goddamn chair to come in. It finally came in. I ordered this before Christmas and I was on the second pre-order group and it was just forever. It, it said it could take up until the 23rd. So I'm happy it's here 13 days early, but still two months, that's a long time to wait. And as you guys know, I used to sit for two years, three years streaming, three years now, I sat on an old wooden kitchen uh, dining room chair. And uh, it, it was, my ass went to sleep halfway through the stream. The back only came up to my mid back. It was very uncomfortable. So I said, you know what? After three years, I'm finally gonna get a new chair, but not just any chair. I wanted the Secret Labs chair, the Game of Thrones edition. And because I am ruthless like the House Lannister, I picked the House Lannister Game of Thrones chair. Um, it is a little contradictory to my decorations though because I also like House Stark. And House Stark is, um, I have a pennant and, and some wall decorations in my bathroom for House Stark, but deep down, I think I'm a Lannister. Cutthroat, nasty, just that kind of a person. So I'm just kidding, not really, not in real life, but my alter ego for sure. So I got the House Lannister uh, Game of Thrones Secret Lab Titan Chair. It took two months to get to me, but it finally arrived today. I put it together. And yes, I did record it. I got my GoPro out and I set it on the tripod and I recorded the whole thing. I was a mess. I couldn't find the stuff. I had to bend over. I had to squat down. My legs went to, my, they went to sleep and they, I fell down. It was a mess. I wish it came pre-assembled. That would have been super. But you know what? We got through that. I will edit out my blunders and post that video uh, to the Turtle Hawk Reviews channel. So if you guys aren't a member yet of the Turtle Hawk, if you haven't subscribed yet to Turtle Hawk Reviews, um, it's in the description. Um, there's some links to Turtle Hawk Reviews. That's where I'll post the video. I'll review how my ass feels tonight after the stream. And I will post the sped up edited version of me putting this chair together for two and a half hours. <laughs> And, and get that there. Uh, my dogs didn't help out though. They were trying to get in the chair. They were trying to get in the picture. I had to keep shooing them away, but we got it put together. All right. Anyway, the only thing that I don't like right now, and I'll tell you this, is my hat. The, the back is so tall, my hat keeps getting pushed up like this. So if it looks like I'm sleeping because I have my hat like this, it's not. It's just because my chair keeps pushing the hat up. First world problems, we'll figure that out later. All right. So anyway, let's take a look at the chat. How is the chat doing? 
Um, it looks like, you know what? I'm going to redo the chat because I shouldn't have to look up. I'm going to move it down here. So that way I can uh, put the Discord up there. Okay, hold on. I can't. I just can't right now with this, this hat. I'm going to move this down here. Like that. Sorry, I've got... Uh, you guys have seen my setup. I posted it in the Discord before. I have three monitors. Two monitors are stacked on top of each other going landscape. And one monitor is vertical on the left-hand side going portrait mode. And that's where I like to put the chat because then I can make the chat really tall. You know, I can really make it go really tall. And uh, that's and, and that's where, but it had it way at the top and it, I kept having to look up. Not gonna work, not gonna work. We're gonna put it right here like this. Perfect, just, just move that down. Nice and breezy, there we go. That way I can see it out of the corner of my eye. Nuff said, said, hey, yo, Turtle Hawk, how's it going? Good, Nuff said, good to see you. Uh, we're going to go through the chat real quick just to say hi to everyone. We got Sydney in the house. Hey, Sydney, how are you? We've got uh, Jennifer slash Christina. How are you guys doing? Hopefully it's both of you. If not, hopefully it's Jennifer. <laughs> uh, we've got Jacob. Jacob, long time no see, buddy. Hope you're doing good. Um, we got to give Jacob a rattlesnack here in a minute. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Is Nightbot here? Did Nightbot report for duty? Helen, Helen Callie, how are you? Let's give Helen a big, uh, round of applause. There we go. And let's get uh, Nightbot to give old Jacob a rattlesnack. All right, Jacob and Helen. Then we've got MYCY. How you doing? Jay the Gamer Boy, of course, with the super chat earlier. Thanks, Jay. Welcome. Cookie Masterson. How you doing? And uh, let's see. Nightbot. Nightbot finally showed up for duty. Hey, Nightbot. Welcome. What about Streamlabs bot? Is Streamlabs bot here? Who knows? All right. I don't see Streamlabs bot. What the even heck? Hold on, let me check my points, see if Streamlabs bots. Streamlabs bots over in Twitch, so that's good. Um, I just don't know if Streamlabs bots over there. No, Streamlabs bot is, oh, there he is. There he is, Streamlabs bot has shown up for duty. Welcome Streamlabs bot, you better get the hell in here. People are trying to heist. He was on break, he was in the masturbatorium, sorry about that. Uh, James, producer James in the house. How are you? Actually, producer James and double, what did we call it the other day, James? Double, double something. It's because he's a member in YouTube and in Twitch, both. Double dipping, maybe. Or was it double dicking? I can't remember. Anyway, double banger, double banger. <laughs> Even better. All right, Jay says, I'm guessing Rich doesn't have his card set up to automatically take money out for his membership. That is a true statement, I think, Jay. Um, it does happen. Uh, but you know what? I appreciate anything from you all. And maybe, maybe he just, you know, wants to skip a month. That's okay. Uh, James says, I only do twins. Well... Let me know when you do twins next. As long as they're not octogenarian twins. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. You guys watching the stream tonight, you're gonna get a special sneak peek of the chair. Usually, nobody's gonna see the chair. The design on the chair is for me. You guys don't see, my hat is going crazy right now. My hat is like crooked. Because when I lean back, it starts to go up. <laughs> Uh, you guys are going to get a special sneak peek of the chair. I did record it so people will be able to see what the chair looks like. But uh, for now, most people won't see the chair because I sit in it. It's mostly for me. 
but I'm gonna show you guys a sneak peek of the chair here. Now, I can barely reach the floor because I have it cranked up really high. So give me a second, we're gonna push it back. We're gonna turn to the side. You see the side? This is the side profile. All right, here's the chair. Right. I'll turn it there, right here. All right, you see the nice house Lannister uh, embroidery? It's got some nice, uh, nice soft leather here, red leather here. This is the pillow. Back on. Then here's the back. Pull it this way. Got a nice. Lannister here, and then at the bottom, it says Game of Thrones. But it looks like all the way up. Ah, microphone's in the way. So you have a nice sigil. You have this nice decorative piece along the side. Right here it says, Hear Me Roar. Oh, that is the new chair. All right. It is very comfy. My ass hasn't felt better since that gangbang the other day. Anyway. Um, so, it is a nice chair. There's a lot of comfiness to it. It has a lumbar support in the back which is something that the wooden chair did not have. The wooden chair had no lumbar support. Um, you can raise the armrest. The, the wooden chair didn't have armrests, so I had to sit there, and, you know, with that armrest. So it's nice having armrests again. Uh, the base of the chair is, it's not like super, I'll say it's not like super, it's not like memory foam where you like sink into it, but it, it has enough support where <coughs> Excuse me. It has enough support where you feel like you're sitting on it, but it's not so. It's not like the wooden chair where the the seat is really uncomfortable. Um, the back it goes up. You can see here it goes up to the back of my head finally, so I can lean back and not have my back break over the back of the chair. So that's good. Um, the good thing about these chairs is you can turn it. You can you can rock in it like normal or you can lock it and then you can use the recline feature and it'll recline almost all the way back. So if you were leaning back, you know, to play, which is good for me because the way my monitor's set up, there's one that's up here that's kind of tilted down and I would like to lean back and play on that monitor because that would be the most comfortable position. So that's pretty good. All right. So, Total Boss Chair Chief. Thank you so much, Jay. It is very comfy. Uh, it is a nice Chinese symbol. That is the symbol of the House Lannister. Get your Game of Thrones right, Jennifer. Helen says, fancy chair. Thank you. So you guys get a first look of the chair um, for that. So for everyone else tonight, let me, let me scoot back up here. Plus, this one has wheels, so I can scoot up and back. I couldn't on the wooden chair because it didn't have wheels. So anyway, um, with the um, game tonight, so get on to the game, right? Uh, tonight we're playing Contradiction. This is a murder mystery game, not quite horror, but it's made by the same company that made jimmy that made the the last game we played that jacob recommended um well hell i forgot the name uh at dead of night so this is the same company that made at dead of night and that's with jimmy that sneaks out and bashes you in the head with a baseball bat um and they really like they really like using live action um, as part of the game. So they have people act out the scenes and you kind of click through and it's all live action. So with Jimmy, you guys saw that you play the game, you click through it, but there's certain parts that are live action, like the storytelling, the ghosts, that kind of stuff. Um, that is live acted. 
Uh, this game, Contradiction, they made it so it's all live action. Uh, apparently, I have not played it before. This will be my first playthrough of this game. Uh, I have not even opened it since I purchased it, so I hope that it's good. I don't even know how to play it. Um, and there's a second one coming out soon. It was very popular, so there's a second one coming out soon. So, um, so hopefully Jacob will appreciate that. Jimmy the Freak. Yeah, we talked about that. <laughs> so, anyway. All right, let's pull the game up here. I can't see past my hat. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see. Uh, hold on. Contra... No, con... Contradiction. There we go. It's called Contradiction Spot the Liar. All right, so this one says, um, Contradiction is a unique adventure murder mystery game that uses live action video for the entirety of the gameplay. All you have to do is interview characters, spot their lies, and catch them out. Contradiction is a brand new take on the concept of interactive movie and brings the genre to a new level of playability. It plays as smooth as a 3D graphics game. You can wander freely around the game environment, collect evidence, and witness constantly changing events. But the game is all about interviewing the characters you meet, questioning them about all the evidence that you've collected and things you've seen, then spotting contradictions in their answers. Pair two contradictions together and watch them try to worm out of it. Woo, all right. So it does say at the bottom, it says, works best if plugged in to a TV, preferably with a bunch of people to help spot the lies, but can be played alone or your laptop and PC is fine. We're not gonna play it on a TV, but we do have a bunch of people here. So you guys are gonna have to help me spot the lies. So as we play through this, you guys can um, let me know if you spot some lies, contradictions. So this will be a very interactive game. I'm not the only one making the decisions here. I'm probably the smartest person to make the decisions. Um, but I'm not the only one. I'm just kidding. You guys are going to be way smarter than me. So, all right. So let's uh, launch this game. Contradiction. Let's pause the music so we get a good, uh, a good idea what the game sounds like. I'm going to take off my hat because it's driving me bananas and put on the headphones. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Whoa! God damn it, Derek, already? We just started. All right, so we got some water here. Oh, you guys can't see it. Hold on. Let me figure out how to make it full screen. Go full screen. All right. Let's change over to the game screen here. You guys probably want to see it. Oh, my God. It says looking for game to capture. What do you mean? <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, specific window, contradiction. Contradiction, yes, 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 done. Why am I not saying it? All right, let's set up the, uh, let me set up the, the settings real quick. 
Oh, zero cheats. There's cheats on this. No. Um, background instructions, AV audio video. There we go. Okay. Helen. Whoa. Sydney, watch it. Don't try to scare me. All right, I guess that's not going to work. Let me uh, change over from there to the display capture. Uh, we're going to display this one. Done. New raid, MYCY. Thank you for the raid over in Twitch. Much appreciated. Um, okay, so we're going to... Uh, fit full screen. What? What? Oh, I know this can happen. Sorry, y'all. I thought that was going to pull up correctly, and it's not. Uh, transform center on center horizontally. Okay, this is going to... Oh, my God. I'm not having it. All right, display capture, go away. New display capture. There we go. Okay. Sorry, this is super bootleg. That feels like how today's going. All right, there we go. I got it. I fixed it. You guys can thank me later. All right, this is what it looks like. Contradiction. Can you guys see it? Uh, 1,000. Good job. Yep. Jay's right. 1,000. Or Jennifer, sorry. All right. You guys can see it. All right. So it looks like we have uh, clues, Chief Clues. I don't know. If, I guess that's my name, Chief. We can replay scenes and whatever. So this seems to be the help menu. Subtitles are off. Do you guys need subtitles? This is your one chance to get subtitles. Ooh, I don't want to see my mouse. There we go. No subtitles. All right. All right, here I am. All right, so look at this. Look how comfortable I can sit and then still see that top screen. That's perfect. All right, let's watch the intro. No talking. My name is Jenks. Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine. A PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village. Wait, somebody wanted subtitles? Okay, Jay wanted subtitles. Hold on. D-Rock. D-Rock rating. D-Rock 101. Subtitles on. All right, watch intro. Here we go. My name is Jenks. Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? 
Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. Ooh, it's time for some answers. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. Case background info. The victim, Kate Vine, was a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. All right, so we have high level of alcohol in her blood, traces of morphine. The alcohol is consistent with her medical records, which reveal a history of depression and alcoholism. However, the origin of the morphine or morphine remains a mystery. Atlas. Atlas is the business course um, at a large stately home, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Rebecca Rand is married. Uh, Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Eatonton's Village Pub. All right, so she's the village pub owner. Simon and Emma, one of Kate's friends from college, was Emma Bowen, who lives with her boyfriend Simon. Okay, we already heard all that shit. All right, let's see instructions. Kate Vine drowned. Okay, so you can go left down West Lane, go ahead to the pub, or go right up North Lane. Uh, Kate Vine drowned in a lake in the woods just outside Edenton Village last Friday night. The game starts one week later at Friday at 5 p.m. All right, so she died one week ago, and it's Friday at 5 p.m. You can guide Jinx around the village in two ways. You can follow the direction arrows to move to adjacent locations, or you can press the map button and choose a new location. Pressing select will take you to the new location. Kate Vine's death. When you're waiting at a location, you can open the inventory and scroll left and right through the collected items, which include physical objects and information that you've collected. If you think you can use an item, try it by pressing select. You can exit the inventory by pressing up or down. If you see the magnifying glass down here in the corner, uh, it means Jinx has seen something interesting. Press the investigate button to see Jinx. Find out what it is. If he can collect, if he can, he'll collect the item and it'll be added to your inventory. At some locations, you'll find one of the villagers you can interview. After Jinx introduces himself, you'll get the opportunity to ask them about any items in your inventory. Simply select the item you want Jinx to ask about. When you've replied, when they've replied, the bar beneath the inventory shows a summary of their reply. You'll see this every time you select an item. Now you start looking for contradictions. These must be from the same interviewee, but will always be from two different items. When you select a reply, it'll be added to the contradiction box 
on the right. Pair two contradiction replies and watch as they turn green and Jinx interrogates the subject. This will lead to new information and often a new chapter, progressing the game an hour at a time until you reach midnight. New chapters introduce new scenes and often opens up new locations to explore, things to find and subs suspects to meet. If you get stuck, first make sure you've asked everyone about all the items in your inventory. Then make a visit to the call box in West Lane. Jinx will speak to the chief inspector and you should get a clue as to what to do next. You can also try tips from the main menu to help you go through the game. These will advise you to what to do next and when to call the chief. If you're really stuck, try a cheat. This will give you a big clue, but it will be added to your cheat count, so try not to use too many. All right, you guys got it? Good. All right, save game, load game one. How do we start? Start game, here we go. My name is Jenks. Oh Detective shit, we've already Inspector watched this. Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student mm. with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind oh. a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooks some suicide. curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, mm -hmm. there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Why did she get it? Mm -hmm. Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of New danger, raid, which may Sydney, in part thank have you. something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large stately home. Hey Nathan, how are you? Good to the see you. Exclusive ya. Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves Jennifer. and Atlas from the tragedy. Jennifer says, so explain to me why would Atlas a girl with a PhD Atlas commit suicide and, and drink? Methods, <laughs> which many have Good question. Order on That's why I think control. it's murder. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed. The George and Dragon, Kate that sounds the good. Pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Ooh. Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend. Why are these Atlas. all PhD Interviewed students? Death, They're smart. Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend. Oh! Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing Thank his degree you, around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that New he host, didn't see Kate official the pastel but the union. Sergeant interviewing him slash cookie. Totally Thank you. By her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. This detective's kind of sexy. All right, here we go. Welcome to Edenton Village. Click the arrows to move around the village. If you see the magnifying glass, try your in investigate button to see Jinx investigate. All right, thank you. Go away. Okay. Oh, Jesus. We already know. All right, do you guys want to go in the pub? Let's go in the pub. Oh, Jesus, Sydney. Oh, nobody answered at the pub. Is the pub open? It's five o'clock. All right, let's go up. All right, so we can do continue ahead along the path or go right along Woods Lane. Let's go along Woods Lane. 
Oh, there's Eden Lodge. Continue on. Let's go to Eden Lodge. Knock for Simon. Is it Simon? Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah. Thank you. Ooh, suspicious. Uh, we can just go through here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Uh, this is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Okay, just maybe it's a Detective Jinx is kind of weird. Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine, yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, no, okay. no, I won't be long. Okay. All right, your first interview. First pick an item that you want to ask about, then click ask to see what Jinx asks about it. When you've heard the reply, you'll see a summary of what was said in the box at the bottom. Clicking any item you've already asked about shows the summary of replies. Now click OK. Ah! Now you can start looking for contradictions. Find two contradictory replies and add them to the contradictions box. If they go green, sit back and watch Jinx interrogate. All right, so Kate's driver's license. Let's ask about this item. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. Never seen it before. Okay. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? It'll <laughs> be when we started Atlas. <laughs> Three months ago. Did you socialize outside Atlas? That bitch is sus. <laughs> How would you describe her? Like, what sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. And she would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay, thanks. I think Simon was doing Kate secretly behind the other girl's back. So why would she drink? So she knows better. Yep. Nope, not any juicy info yet, Ty. All right, so we've asked about that. Last I saw Kate at the Atlas meeting last Friday. I only know Kate for three months. Didn't socialize with Kate outside Atlas. Kate often seemed drunk at Atlas. What contradictions? Do we see any contradictions? I thought that they, uh, Kate, I don't know. I don't see any contradictions, but last Friday's meeting only known Kate for three months. Didn't socialize with Kate often seemed drunk. Yeah. No contradictions. Let's visit Emma. Thank you. Probably be back later. Don't worry. It's only a few questions. Yeah. All right, this bitch. Let's ask her about the death first. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. 
She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I th think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Ooh, wild. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Okay. That's all? You're not going to ask her any more than that? Hmm. All right. Anything contradictory? Jay says her eyes are gorgeous. <laughs> Uh, I think I see contradictions in the first one. Wait, go back to the last one. Okay. Is it Simon again? Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. All right. So Simon said, um, didn't know anything about the license. And on the desk said, saw Kate at Atlas meeting. Only known Kate for three months, didn't socialize with Kate, and Kate often seemed drunk. Oh, the picture of the girl? The driver's license? Or this one? Atlas is a business, uh, a business training that they're going to. A uh, contradiction means that, yeah, that they conflict with something. So like, like if Simon says, um, oh, we never socialize with her. But if the Emma says, be back later on, if that's okay. Oh yeah, we hang out with her all the time. She was over here for dinner. That's a contradiction because he said one thing, she said another. So Kate says that the last time Kate, uh, or Emma says last time saw Kate was in the college library on Thursday. Kate appeared her usual self. Kate was argumentative at college. Kate had a drinking problem and didn't see Kate often. So I don't see any major contradictions. Ooh, L.A. Noir, nice. Okay, let's head out of here. I don't- Okay, that's it for now. Thank I don't you. see any major contradictions yet. Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. Oh, knock on the window for Emma. All right, let's go continue the woods. Okay, go left into the woods, go along the path to the right. Let's go left to the woods. Go to the jetty, nice, let's go to the jetty. Oh, what a nice view on the jetty. Oh. We got a magnifying glass. Oh, There's Jesus. There's jewelry there, stuck between the boards. Well, and truly wedged in. Did you get the jewelry? All right, let's go left. Uh, no, let's go right to the woods. Go right into the clearing. Yeah, it looks pretty boring. Let's go towards Atlas.
Oh, here's the stately Rosenbaum estate. Enter the Atlas grounds. Oh, it's chained up. Shit. I already did the clearing, so we're going to continue here. I already went to the jetty. Oh, maybe it is the same universe as, as that. It is very pretty. All right, so uh, continue to the path end. Oh, that's pretty too. Nothing there. Woods Lane, I think. We're gonna go back. Uh, we already went to the Eden Lodge, so we'll go back to North Road. So we already went to the village, so let's go right along the path. Oh, Eatonton Village Town Hall. Oh, we got a magnifying glass. Always nice to randomly find a key on the floor. Ooh, we found a key. All right, drop silver key. Click to try using this. There's no use for this. Oh. So we have a key in that. I guess that's all we have right now. Improve your spiritual, intellectual, wow. financial Isn't life. That interesting. Why is that interesting? Tell me. All right. I would say your hat is more striking than this. <laughs> All right, so we went along with... Okay, rear path. Let's go to the rear path. No! I didn't know that was the rear path. Let's go in the village. All right, maybe the pub is open. Let's use the key. Okay, I guess not. Let's go down West Street. Uh, go behind Braden House. Lower West Street. Oh, call the chief. That's where you call the chief. Go left. I feel like, did we go everywhere? We went here, 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 here. That's all we got. All right, what do you think? We got to find some contradictions. I think is what they're saying. A few more questions, if you don't mind. It isn't worth asking Emma about the key. Thank you. Probably be back later. I'll probably come back a hundred times. Uh. Oh, it isn't worth asking. Okay. So I guess we have some contradictions here. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's check for contradictions. 
Emma says, didn't see Kate often. That's not a contradiction. Kate had a drink problem. That's not a contradiction. Kate, Kate was on eh. Thursday. So the contradiction is she saw her Thursday. The other guy saw her. Okay, let's. For the moment, thank you. Oh, come on. Let's let's go and ask the chief. Be back later on if that's okay. Just for now. Oh wait, let's do this because let's see a tip. Better do a spot of investigating around Eden Lodge. Oh, here we go. See, I knew it. I knew it. Trusting leaving a bike unlocked. Looks like Chief is asking Ooh, Chief. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. This might come in handy. What's that? An enema? That looks like a douche. All right, so let's ask Emma what that douche is. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Oh, wow. Look at all the stuff we got now. Whose is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. Hmm. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. You don't know? Thank you. Probably be back later. With 15 questions. Which is the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And Contradiction. No to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. That was a contradiction. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers, except for James over at Farmhouse. I, I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. Ooh, Simon told Jinx about the homebrew. All right, so I see a contradiction. So I think the contradiction is that the bike belongs to Simon's cousin. Bike is only way Simon can get to work. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. And she said that that was for Simon's cousin. Oh, wait. Oh, she did say Simon uses the bike to get to work. No eyebrows, dude, gave you a contradiction. <laughs> well, I thought it was a contradiction, but... Thank you. Probably be back later. Uh... I guess that's not a contradiction. Homebrew tried selling, but only sold to James. Doesn't see James often. Uh, okay. That's the Son Thank of you. a bitch. I don't think that was a contradiction. Oh, we can ask about the homebrew. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Say no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Doesn't like beer. It's spirits. Be back later on if that's okay. <laughs> I'm just going back and forth between the two. 
All right. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. All right, that's all I have. That's not useful now. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's keep an eye out for this uh, magnifying glass because apparently I've missed one. Wonder if forensic search the jetty by the lake. Oh, the jetty. Hold on, we gotta go to the jetty. Uh, this way. No! We need to go to the jetty. Nope. Okay, let's go to the jetty. Wonder if forensics search the jetty by the lake. How do I know that? Can you search the jetty? What a terrible clue. Yeah, I wonder the same thing. Yeah, he's on foot the whole time. Oh, the screwdriver! Ah! Oh shit, I'm going the wrong direction. Good one, Jetty. And then I need to use the screwdriver. Ah, good one, Ty. Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. Good one, Ty. She was eager to tell him that. <laughs> Ty is smart. You need pointers. <laughs> exactly. All right. So now... Who would know most about jewelry? You also have things you haven't asked Simon and Emma about yet. Oh Lord, Simon and Emma are gonna stop inviting me in if I keep stopping in like a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, uh, excuse me. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Uh, yes. I need to ask you about the broken pendant. Ever seen this? Looks like, uh... That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewellery, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage. But the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer? Mm, not so secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. I'm starting to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. Interesting. Oh, I know. I'm so hungry. Thank you. Probably be back later. You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to have one like it. Actually, you know what? You're Kate, right. He doesn't have very I big eyebrows. I remember I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking in college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college is all about. I think Emma had a similar necklace. Kate wore the necklace at college. Thank you. Probably be back later.
You should call the chief for an update. All right. Time to call chief. Time to call chief. What? Let's go call chief. Oh, I keep going the wrong direction. Ooh, time to call the chief. Chief, hello. Jinx, chief. It's Jinx. Oh. Oh. Chief, it's Jenks. Uh, I've questioned Simon Thompson and Emma Bowman so far. Oh, and I found a pendant by the lake, which turns out to have been Emma's. But Emma gave it to Kate. So, chances are, Kate was wearing it the night she drowned. What does Thompson know about it? Simon doesn't seem to know much. I don't trust Thompson. Then again, I don't trust Emma that much either. Try and get a bit of background on them. You know, usual stuff. When did Emma meet Kate? How long have they known each other? How long has Thompson known her? Give me a call back when you've got some more. Thanks, Chief. All right, we don't trust any of them. Ring, ring. There must be contradictions somewhere. All right. Uh, this way. Boring. Try the pub again. It is six o'clock, lady. We need some food. I'm hoping it's a twist story. I think it will be if we can trust no one. <laughs> Not even yourself. <laughs> she really talked to her after she started at the Atlas. All right, let's talk, let's talk to Emily. A few more questions, please. Thank you. All right, so we need to ask about... So the necklace was an unwanted gift. A necklace is Emma's, but she gave it to Kate. Necklace called a freedom necklace. Kate bought lots of new jewelry. Let's see. So case last saw here. Kate appeared to use herself, was argumentative. Didn't see Kate very often. Let's say that she didn't see Kate very often, but she gave her a necklace. Shit, that's not it. But freedom from what? Hey, producer James. <laughs> That's all for the moment. Thank you. Somebody's got a contradiction here, and why can't I find it? Let's see. Simon says he doesn't know, blah, blah, blah. Thinks Emma had a similar necklace. Kate wore the necklace at college. I think it's that and the fact that he said he didn't know her very long. Aha. Oh, we did it! So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialise with her at college? No. And you didn't socialise with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. You didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um... No. 
no, 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 no. Yay, we did it! 6 p.m. We so found a contradiction. Did know in college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. He's doing her in the pub. If Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. I knew he was doing her. He was drunk with Kate before. Ah. All right. Here we go. Let's go to the pub. So we found a contradiction. He said he only knew her for three months, but he thought that she had the necklace in college, which means that he was pretty intimate with her way before three months. Oh, the pub's open. Ooh, Strongbow, Guinness. Mmm. Two very good choices. Oh, God, James. Woo. All right, go left to the restaurant. Press the bell. Ooh. Sorry, what can I get you? Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. Come through. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> She's sus. What's it about? There's been an unexplained death locally. Not sure if you've heard. The student? Yes. Yes, it was dreadful news. You're married to Ryan, one of the Atlas leaders, yes? I suppose I am, yes. Well, I just wanted to ask a few questions about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to answer any of them, but sure. All right, let's ask her some questions. This bitch is going down. Helen says, Guinness is one of my favorites. Oh, hey, Rebecca, says Jay. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I bet you, I bet you this, she seems sus. Did you know Kate? Not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody person. You oh, she, she was going to say bitch. When was the last time you saw oh. her? D-Rock. Friday. She popped in for a minute. And when was that? Uh, seven-ish. Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put 20 pounds on the bar and then left. What was that for? A breakage, presumably. 20 pounds? Just for a beer glass? <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walked out. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed. But she was a strange girl. Dang. She looks pretty normal. Have you seen this before? <clears throat> no, sorry. So you didn't know if Kate had lost it? No idea. Know anything about Simon Thompson's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? Apparently. No, we do buy from a microbrewery, but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries. <laughs> yeah, she is going down. Do you recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Not that I can remember. All right, any contradictions?
kitchen brew. All right, no Be back later on, if that's okay. All right, let's continue to the restaurant. Oh, it looks dead. So cute, though. Look at this place. I uh, love this place. I would love to go have a nice dinner here. Maybe some bangers and mash. Mmm. Where's Ben? Ben needs to tell us if this is what his pub looks like. Is there a rear entrance to the Georgian dragon? Uh, yes, please answer this question. Rear entrance. Uh, go to the rear entrance. Investigate. Oh, right here behind the pub. Whose name? Oh, look at Broken this cute window. patio. By the look of it. Might have to ask about that. Oh, she broke the window. Jennifer says, we just had real mash last night. It was so good with the pork chops. Oh, I love pork chops. Ellen, yeah, this was made in 2015. Yes, I read the descriptions. Ha ha ha, nice. Oh, uh, they don't have to wear masks. <laughs> All right, let's enter the building, the outbuilding. Hmm. Oh, you know what we can try? Let's try the key. Where's the key? Oh, it works. It works. Oh, where's the light switch? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh wow, this place is a dump. All right, let's investigate. Ooh, a box that says Atlas and a mask. Oh, it's a cult. I wonder whose mask this is. Rebecca's or Ryan's? All right, investigate behind the shelves. Just looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. Too dark? Do I have a flashlight? Try using this. <laughs> There's no use for a cardboard mask. All right, I guess I don't have a, a flashlight. What was her name? All right, let's leave the courtyard. Let's go back in and ask her about these masks. Things, please. <laughs> How did the window get broken out round the back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they'd gone. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until I can get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? No, not really. I'm quite strict when it comes to boring clients. I don't think are um, suitable. Ooh, she's kind of bitchy. All right, let's ask about the um, mask. Do you know what this is? Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this is Ryan's. It's to do with one of Ryan's methods on the course. Go on. Well, 
Masks allow you to play at being someone different for a while. Students find it quite liberating. So this would be for a student? I think that one's Ryan's, but students do wear them, yes. All right, so... What do you guys think? We've got... Uh, Emma is go back to where she is. Oh, Jacob's in love with Emma. Emma and Rebecca, you mean. All right. Jacob, do you have the hots for Emma? Uh, OMG, I can't believe COD Mobile is giving out free carrots. Oh, wow. Nice. What do you think? I think she's a total bitch who wants to be liked. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Do we see any contradictions yet with her with her information? I think that Kate's gave Rebecca $20 for the breakage approximately 7 p.m., but the broken window was approximately 6.30 p.m. between two girls. Huh. I'm thinking there's something about who broke the window and that $20 that Kate put down. Aha. Yes, contradiction! So, you said Kate gave you £20 for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the payment could have been for the broken window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been, yeah. Could have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with? No, I'm not sure. I'll ask around. Not realising Kate had broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now. Unless she did. But why would she lie about that? Because she's a bitch. I think she wants the third stymie. All right, anything else that we can think of with Kate? Um... Ooh, doesn't know who broke the window, but she knows Kate broke the window. Okay, I think Thank that's you. it for now. Probably be back later. Better investigate the woods again. You also have things you haven't asked Simon M. Oh, yeah, we got to ask Simon Emma. What is this? There we go. All right, Jacob, here we go. We're gonna go talk to your girl, Emma. Hey, PD, how are you? Hello. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Jacob wants me to ask you a question, Emma. What do we not ask her about? This one. Know anything about a broken window at the pub around the back? The pub, um, a broken window at the back? Yeah. I saw it was broken. When was that? I was in the pub on Monday with a college friend. Oh, she's lying. Ever seen this before? <laughs> <laughs> nope, but I haven't. Sorry. I think I'd have remembered it. Ah. Uh. Did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? No, I wasn't there. You weren't in the village? No, I went home last, last Thursday night, actually, to see my parents. But you do visit the pub. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I know Rebecca quite well. We, we all went there quite a bit after college. Interesting, stuttering, she's lying, exactly, Sydney, good point. 
thought it was on Friday. Oh, contradiction between other people, but I don't know if you can do that. No, it has to be the same person. Um, what do you think? She's lying about the pub window. Visit a pub on Monday. All right, let's uh, go talk to Simon. Thank you. She said she saw her on Friday. Do you know anything about a broken window at the pub? No, I don't really go to the pub very often. I'm not exactly a pub person. Lame. Have a look at this. Know anything about that? <laughs> Have a look at this. I haven't seen this one, but it looks a lot like an Atlas mask. Uh, we use them for some of the um, some of the workshops and stuff. Really? How? Oh. Well, you um, you have to say something uh, boastful or uh, or arrogant. You do it first without the mask, and then you say it with a mask. And the point is? Well, it's easier when you have the mask on, isn't it? People are not as afraid to be free about themselves, you know. What did you find out about Atlas? Well, it was advertised. Um, actually, I think I've still got the... Uh... <clears throat> this is the advert that was at my college. Uh, to be honest, I've learned more in three months at Atlas than I did in three years at business school. Can I keep that? Yeah, go for it. I suppose that might be useful as a conversational starter. Ooh, that's weird. She's lying about the mask. WTF is wrong with that dude. He looks like Picasso painting. <laughs> oh, he's overreacting. Trust me, she's lying about the mask. Um, the guy sounds like something from At Dead of Night. Ooh, it might be. It might be Jimmy. It might be Jimmy or Dr. Bose. Good one. All right, so let's ask about Kate's argument. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No, I didn't go to the pub last Friday. What did you do after the course? Just went home. Came here. Just came straight back. Ooh, he kind of looked over to the side. Yikes. All right, so does he sound sus? He sounds a little sus. Doesn't recognize the mask, mask are used. Okay. Thank you, probably be back later. So we think she's lying about the mask. What do you know about Atlas? I know that it's, um, it's a business course. I went with Simon when he first went, but it wasn't really my thing. How often did you go? Just the once. And you decided it wasn't for you? Yeah, I'd been to something similar, so I decided it wasn't for me. Okay, one second, I have to get something. Just watch the screen.
All right, we're back. Sorry. Right. Uh, yes, actually, I was. <laughs> Diet Pepsi, actually. Oh, that's the Super Bowl one. All right. So, let's see. I don't know. I don't think. Uh, that's all for oh, me. shoot. I meant to hit exit. Be back later on, if that's okay. Better investigate the woods again. You haven't asked Rebecca about the poster. God dang it. I gotta go back and forth. He drinks that shite Pepsi. Yeah, I like Pepsi. All right, let's go back to the woods. We gotta go back to the woods, you see. The woman and the kids and the dogs and me. Clearing nothing. What's at the woods? Anything? No, we already looked at the jetty. Ooh, Atlas. Oh, it's open. Hey, Sapphire, how are you? Hey, Rich. All right, we are in. Let's go to the atrium. Ryan was interviewed in the lounge, according to the report. That must be his office. Ooh, the reading room. Try the lounge. Oh! Jeez, I thought it was someone screaming at the door. All right, try the door on the right. Ah, that's open. Oh, it's nice. Okay, nothing's in there. Boring. Helen. Helen. Uh, better investigate the woods again. You haven't asked Rebecca. Oh, I gotta ask Rebecca. All right, I've investigated the woods. Oh, maybe I need something from here. No, I don't have anything. Drop silver key, screwdriver, broken pendant, whatever. Nothing in the clearing. Oh, my battery's running out. Hold on. My headphone battery's gonna die. Hey, Simon, how are you? Good to see you. It's a slot machine. We're playing a game called Contradiction. It's a murder mystery gameplay that we click through and try to find clues. And it's actually more difficult than I thought it would be. I thought it would be easy. It turned out to be much more difficult. But I had to replace the battery on my headphones. So that's where we're currently at. All right, I'm back. Back in business. Guess who's back, 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 back again. Chiefy's back, yeah, tell a friend. Guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back. Guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back. Nah, 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 meh, meh, meh. Oh, just kidding. My battery won't go in this little spot. 
get in there. Okay, there we go. I probably should have checked that before I started. I just so excited to show you guys my chair. All right. Anyway, back in business. Uh, Wing Wang, how you doing? Good to see you. Got a lot of crew members in here tonight. Dun -dun. Okay, so uh, Baltimore is snow again. Oh, shoot. I hope it's not snowing here. Uh, Emma's lying about the mask for sure. I, I definitely hear you there. But it keeps telling me to go to the woods, so I don't know what I need to do at the woods. There's nothing at the woods. Is there anything I can use? Yeah, nothing here. This is stupid. It says better investigate the woods again, but what am I investigating? I already tried Atlas. Let's go and talk to that girl at the bar. I don't see snow yet, but it might start. I don't know. She's going to be like, I'm trying to run a business here. Why do you keep uh, doing it? <laughs> Why do you keep ringing the bell? Ask about a few more things, please. <laughs> what do you know about this? It's an advertisement. They had it designed by an agency, I think. And when was that? Last year sometime. Oh, that's boring. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. What about the woods? I already investigated the woods. There's nothing to investigate here. Whoa, that was scary, whatever that was. All right, I'm investigating the shit out of the woods. Won't let me use anything. Emma is most sus for me right now. Yeah, I think Emma did it. There's nothing. All right, let's go. Let's go back to Atlas and just ask about the masks. Oh shit, I get the wrong way. Got to be a reason why it's open, right? Yeah, something. All right, let's go into the atrium. Let's see if that guy is there. Hello. Ooh, let's try the key. Let's try the key. Nope, let's try the screwdriver. Nope, let's try the broken pendant. The freedom necklace. Cardboard mask. The advertisement. Yet. Gotta be something in here, right? Oh, this place is boring. Show tits. Come on, show us the tits. Better investigate. I, I'm going to the call box. This is ridiculous. I already looked all over the god dang woods. Let's call the chief.
Check the couch. What couch? Uh, I wouldn't let me check the couch. Um, I don't wear the... Oh, he's not answering. I can't wear the cowboy hat with my headphones, unfortunately. Because it doesn't fit over my headphones. Really? All right, so the most south part up here. Or this part. On the map, it's the most south part. This is west. This is north, so north, south, east, west. So this is south actually down here. Are you saying this one or this one? Ooh, maybe we need to go check the lodge. No, nope, we already did that. This part of the woods? Oh, good one. Who is this man? Who is it? I'm a police officer. Detective Inspector Jenks. It's all right, you can carry on if you want to. I'm just going. I'm investigating a, a death in the village, Kate Vine. There was a death recently Hello, in the... I knew her. Well, could I ask you a few questions? Was he please? smoking a hookah? Well, if you give me your name and address, I'll come later on. Where do you live? And what's your name? I think he was smoking a hookah. There's a farm marked on the map down West Street. Wonder what they grow there. Ooh. I bet you they grow, uh, cigaweed. According to the map, Abbey Farm is across the road there. Ooh, ring. Oh, let's ring. Uh, let's go up. Now, nah, let's let's go up the steps first. Ooh, let's look in the greenhouse. Uh oh. Picture frames with black painted glass. Very interesting. Ooh. All right. Let's go knock on the door and see who's home. This is so pretty. I love the scenery. Could I ask you a few more questions, please? It'll take you long. Haven't got much time. Just close the doors, shall I? Where do you want to sit? Oh, anywhere's fine. I uh, didn't quite catch your name. James, sit there. Thank you, James. James. Why are you asking me about Kate Pye? Routine. You know Simon, don't you? Thompson. Why, what did he say? That you all went to college together, you and Kate. Is that right? Might have done. Right. Good enough. All right, let's start from the top. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Can't remember. How did you know her? Uh, through Simon. His girlfriend was mates with her. Saw her around college a few times. Did you socialize with her much? Nah. She wasn't my type. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Nah, <laughs> no idea.
What do you know about Simon's bike? What bike? You haven't seen him on a bike? I haven't seen him. When was the last time you saw him? About a month ago. Ooh, a month ago, but he buys the homebrew. That's right, Ty. Have you uh, ever tried Simon's homebrew? Thompson's tar? Yeah, I've tried it. Did he sell it? Well, not to me, not for money anyway. We used to trade stuff. What did you trade? I make a nice herbal tea as it happens. Him and his girlfriend were into it. What was his beer like? Lethal. Strong. Knock your eyes out. Oh, James is so cute. I love James. Ever seen one of these before? Freedom necklace. I don't think so. Know anything about a broken window at the pub? Don't go to the pub. You've never been to the pub. I didn't say that. Been to the pub, but not about two months, three months. Hmm. Ever seen this before? <laughs> no, should I have? No, it's okay. <laughs> you put it on. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No. Ever seen one of these? Seen them around college. What do you know about it? Not much. It's a business course. Ask Simon. He's on it. You wouldn't be interested in <laughs> that sort of thing. Exactly, Helen. And you haven't discussed it with Simon? Not really. Business doesn't interest me. Now, what's all this stuff in the workshop? Paint and stencils and things like that? Just a little sideline of mine. Oh, you do picture framing. They're black mirrors. Scrying mirrors. Now, what's a scrying mirror? Show you one if you want. Scrying goes back centuries. The ancient Persians did it. This country pagans still practice it. The fortune tellers pretend to do it. That's what the crystal ball's all about. It's all scrying. The mirror's just one way of doing it. But what is scrying? Depends uh. who you are. People do it for different reasons. What sort of reasons? Exploring your mind. Clearing your mind. Communicating with the dead. Is that what you use them for, James? Communicating with the dead? And they make them for other people these days. And there's a market for these, is there? Lots of people want to talk to the dead. Even if they don't believe in it. Do you make a profit on them? I don't do it for the money. How very charitable of you. Can I keep this? Keep it. Thank you. Black mirrors and hookah pipes. I wonder what else James is into. Hookah pipes. All right, any contradictions with him yet? Thank you. Probably be back later. There are things you haven't asked. Oh, we got to go ask Simon and Rebecca. Eden Lodge. It's <laughs> a bubble. <laughs> Couple more questions. If Jacob, okay. here's Emma. We got to ask her about the um, Have you seen one of these before? Is that from James? Now, what do you know about James? That he's creepy. 
<laughs> he was selling them last Friday at the market. There's, there's a market every week type thing. And uh, I usually go there for lunch. So you wouldn't buy one of these? No, I wouldn't. But Kate would. Was she uh, into this sort of thing? No, I, I, I don't think so. She bought one and uh, I went round to her flat to try it out. You're meant to see ghosts or spirits or something. It doesn't work. How do you use it? You're just meant to stare into it. Shall I show you? Go ahead. <sighs> okay, so you just... You just stare, stare like this. And... Uh, then you see... See what? Sorry, um... <laughs> uh, look, uh, you just, you're meant to see a ghost or something. Look, it doesn't work. <sighs> Didn't work, sir. Uh, has she claimed that she knew or didn't know James? Um, she thinks that James is creepy. Um, she didn't say if she did or didn't know him. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's ask uh, Simon about the mirror. Ever seen one of these? <laughs> yeah, that's one of James's. He's into like new age stuff, mysticism, magic spells, that sort of thing. He's nuts, though. I mean, he thinks the government are tracking him. Or <laughs> Why would he think that? Well, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. All right, That's let's go ask moment. Rebecca. Questions, please. Have you seen one of these before? Is it meant to be black like that? <laughs> I think so. No. All right. Be back later on if that's okay. Okay, time to call the chief. Let's see if he answers this time. me again. Uh, a few things have come up. I met someone called James Wilson. Bit of a dropout into witchcraft, magic, occult things. Makes scrying mirrors. Makes <laughs> crying mirrors? Scrying, chief. It's an occult thing. Black painted glass. You're meant to stare into it until you see ghosts or something. Emma Bowman knew about it. They all know each other from college. Emma said he was selling these mirrors last Friday at the local market. What was he doing Friday night? I'm not sure. Said he couldn't remember the last time he saw Kate. Lives on his own, so I doubt he has an alibi, but I don't see any motive yet. Well, look harder and double check where everyone was Friday night. Right. Thanks, Chief. All right. There must be a contradiction. Okay. Does anybody see any contradiction? Any contradictions yet? I, I'm thinking Rebecca has a contradiction somewhere. Well, there must be, so we got to find one. Uh, Rich says yes. She said she hasn't seen a black mirror. Um, Ryan had the poster designed by an agency. Poster was designed last year. Uh, what's that say? 
Oh, cardboard mass. Didn't know Simon made homebrew, buys from a microbrewery, doesn't buy from kitchen breweries. Um, no, nope, I don't think she has any contradictions, really, that we haven't found yet. Let's Thank go. You. Probably be back later. I bet you he has a contradiction. Emily has a contradiction? Or James? A few more questions, if you don't mind. Ooh, okay. So he says he can't remember the last time he saw Kate. Knew Kate through girlfriend Simon. Didn't socialize with her. Traded herbal tea for Simon's homebrew, says Simon's is very strong. Doesn't recognize, doesn't know anything about the broken window, hasn't been to the pub in two months. Doesn't recognize, doesn't know anything about the argument. Has seen the poster, knows Simon is in the course, hasn't discussed the course with Simon. Makes black scrying mirrors mirrors, just one way of scrying, scrying practice for various reasons. Only makes the mirrors for others, sells the mirrors, but doesn't profit. I don't know. Poisoned, not strong. I think Emma, yes, thank you, because she said she never met him besides the market. Ah, for uh, the homebrew. Time, Thank you. Good one. So, Emma. A few more questions, if you don't mind. All right. So, Emma says, thanks, James is creepy. James was selling them last Friday. New Kate had bought a mirror, demonstrated how to use the mirror, says the mirror doesn't work. Uh, I don't know. Simon's homebrew doesn't like beer. I don't see what you're saying there. Yeah, she's sus, but I can't find a contradiction. Rebecca in the clear. Thank you. Probably be back later. Um... She demonstrated it seemed transfixed and yet it didn't work. Oh, okay. Let's see. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Nope, that didn't work. She demonstrated it. Seemed transfixed and yet it didn't work. Alright, that didn't work. Be back later on if that's okay. Sapphire says 
Oaks isn't bad. Similar to THC. No, he's just a stoner. <laughs> ah! What's the contradiction? A couple more questions, if that's okay. So I gotta give my ears a break. I get crammed up in there. Okay. All right, so let's think this through. You guys have seen all the stories. We've got Rebecca, James, Emma, and Simon. So we have James and Chief in this game yes producer james is is james and chief is chief all right so check everything and not just the latest two all right So, check the top. I'll start from the top with Simon. Last saw Kate at the Atlas meeting. Didn't socialize with Kate. Kate often seemed drunk. Knew Kate at college, but didn't socialize. Doesn't know anything about the license. Bike belongs to Simon's cousin. Bike is the only way for Simon to get to work. Makes his own homebrew, tried selling it, but only sold to James. Doesn't seem James very often. Maybe it's this. Nope. Okay, so it doesn't seem James very often, but knows that James is in a new age mysticism. All right, let's try that. So... Uh, doesn't seem James often, but knows that James thinks the government is tracking him. No. Okay, so New Age mysticism and doesn't seem James very often. No. Only sold to James, but doesn't seem James very often. Okay. So he said he didn't recognize the mask, but are used during seminars. Uh, yes, Chris, single player. This is the evidence. All right, so Black Symir. Yeah, you guys are helping a lot. That's all the evidence okay, that's it for now. Thank that you. I have. Are you saying the inventory? The only thing I have is the driver's license, the key, the screwdriver. <laughs> The pendant, the necklace, the mask. All right, does Paul recognize the mask? Who's Paul? <laughs> I don't know who Paul is. Should we go back to Atlas?
Sapphire says the couch. I can't click on the couch. All right, we're going to have to call the chief. I don't know. No, that was James. It was Paul. <laughs> It's picking up. All right, we're going to have to go catch Rebecca. Rebecca's lying. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Never seen the Black Mirror before, but she has. What? Hmm. Does she know me? <laughs> we only saw one of two men who ran Atlas, right? No, we haven't seen either one of them yet. All right. Well, that's as far as we can get. We don't know the, the rest of it. So it was fun while it lasted. No, that spoils the fun. I don't know. We can't find it. That's all we got. Thank you. We've Probably checked everything. Later. We've checked everything. Where's Emma? She didn't ban Kate. Yeah, that's true. She didn't. Oh, James says, I, I see a contradiction. Why did Rebecca not ban Kate? Ask you a couple more things, please. Um... Uh, 
Rebecca is strict about barring clients. There's nowhere that says that she didn't ban Kate. All right, let's go Thank back. You. Let's Probably go back to Jacob's later. girlfriend here. Hold on. It must be Simon and Ella, Emma. Huh. All right. I think there's still something missed with Emma. All right. Let's go check Emma. Let's give Jacob a rattlesnack so we can go talk to Emma. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. All right. You want me to start from the top? Here's the top. Emma and the pendant. Why did Emma not know who the other girl was for the fight? Good question. I do not know. I'm adjusting my chair real quick. I think the, lum the lumber's too tight. There we go. Too much lumber. Uh-oh. Who's spamming the chat? Jennifer? Um. So, okay, so this is the first one. This is the second one. Doesn't know about the driver's license. Uh, nothing here. Noth oh, here, the bike Simon. Simon used the bike to get to work. Keeps telling Simon to fix the lock. Screwdriver. Box of old bottles. Belongs to Simon. Simon's homebrew. Doesn't like beer, only drinks wine. Necklace is Emma's, but she gave it to Kate. Necklace called Freedom. Kate bought lots of new jewelry. Necklace was an unwanted gift. All right, broken pub window. Visit the pub on Monday night with a friend. Knows about broken pub window. Cardboard mask. Hasn't seen the mask before. Kate's augmentation. Went home to see parents Thursday night. Knows Rebecca quite well. Went to pub after college. Atlas advertising. Went to first seminar with Simon. Only went once. Had been to a similar course before. Uh, Ty says there's one. What's one? Uh, photo frame. Nothing. Scrying mirror. Thinks James is creepy. <laughs> James. She's not talking about you, James. Uh, James was selling them last Friday. Knew Kate had bought a mirror. Demonstrated how to use the mirror. Says the mirror doesn't work. Ty says the two Thursday ones. What's the Thursday? Um... Here's a Thursday. Went home to see parents on Thursday. Why wouldn't it let me click it? Uh, see, last saw her Thursday. I don't see anybody that says that. There's nothing that says she saw her last Thursday. She said that 
Kate saw her in the library on Thursday. Oh, okay. Why can't I click on this? That's Hold. all for the moment. Thank you. Hold on, let me reload it. It won't let me click on it. Ask about a few more things, please. All right, so she saw Kate in the library on Thursday. But she says that... She, uh, she says she went home to see her parents Thursday night, which that's okay. You can see her during the day on Thursday and then Thursday night. So we'll pick that one. Oh, James, good one. So the mirror... She says that James was selling them last Friday. So if she went home to see her parents late Thursday night and she wasn't around on Friday, how does she know James was selling them last Friday? Uh, ah, yeah. good one, James. So, Hi, you too. You good. went home to see your parents on Thursday night. That right? Uh, yes. But you said you saw James at the market on Friday. He, um... No, I went to um, I went to see my parents on Friday night. What time did you go on Friday? Um, eight or nine. And you didn't see Kate at all on Friday. No. Oh, she's what lying, a liar, Emma. Okay. She got in an argument Kate. with Kate. Where? At the pub, we were arguing. Go on. What were you arguing about? Ooh. I, I'd lent her 50 pounds because she was desperate and w we were just arguing. I, I, it didn't really bother me. She just didn't have it. And Kate broke the window. Yes. She, she did things like that when she was angry. Smash things. Yes. So it was Emma arguing with Kate. But why didn't she want to admit it? In case it gave her a motive or something else? Ooh. James says, I knew Kate bought a mirror. <laughs> All right, so we know that Emma was arguing with Kate. Kate broke the mirror. So. Be back later on if that's okay. Be back later on if that's okay. All right, Thank I you. guess that's Probably it. Probably be back later. Oh, got to call the chief. Yeah, Chief, I had a confession from Emma Bowman. It turns out she was arguing with Kate last Friday outside the pub. Kate broke the window. That's what the money was for. Uh-huh. What were they arguing about? Money. Uh. Emma says she'd lent some to Kate, but Kate hadn't paid it back. So Kate had money problems, so she broke a window and then paid Rebecca back for it. <laughs> Something doesn't add up there, Jenks. It doesn't make sense, does it? No. Call me back when you know some more. Okay. Speak later, Chief. Uh, bye. The chief's probably like, quit calling me with all this half-ass information. All right, let's, we've got to go talk to Rebecca. Hold on, let's see. Let's go talk to Rebecca about this newfound information. Ding. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Um, wait, why can't I click on it? Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. So she says the window was broke approximately 630. Uh, hold on. Uh, maybe it's not this one. 
No, but it was something to offer. Fifty dollars. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. And the twenty dollars after the window was broken. Hmm. Let's go ask Simon. Simon probably knows. He's covering for that Emma. A few more questions, please. Kate broke the window, but she doesn't know who broke it. Okay, Simon says he doesn't know anything about the broken pub window. But... Oh, straight home Friday. No. Oh, he saw he saw Kate at the Atlas meeting on Friday. But he also says that he doesn't know about the pub window. No. It's argument. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> says, Simon says, touch your butt. <laughs> Simon says... All right, so let's go talk Thank to you. Emma. Probably be back later. Emma seems she seems the most sus out of everybody. All right, let's just start from the top. Okay. So Emma last saw Kate on Friday, not Thursday. Kate appeared her usual self. Kate was argumentative. Kate had a drink problem. Didn't see Kate very often. Doesn't know anything about that. Doesn't matter. Bottles doesn't matter. Doesn't like beer. Okay. Knows about the broken pub window. Visited the pub on Monday. Hasn't seen the mask before. Ah. Uh. Uh. Didn't see often yet usual self. Why was she at the pub if she didn't like beer? Good question. All right. All right, what do you guys think? Does she like wine spirits or meeting friends while well, they sell more than beer at the pub? Yeah, it could have been uh, meeting up. Yeah. Ooh, it could have been speed dating. Um, okay, let's see. What was the, what was she saying about their fight? Did it, did they say? See, some of this stuff doesn't have anything to do with the topic at hand, but some of it does.
So... Let's not talk about speed dating. <laughs> Did you ask her? Did I ask who? About speed dating? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Oh, Helen says lent money to Kate. All right. Okay, so what else? Go through everything else again. Okay, we'll start from the top. And then um, Helen mentioned lent money to Kate. So let's start at the top. All right. I'm not going to read them. I'm just going to click through them. So. Yeah, I don't think the bike thing matters right now. I don't think the bottles matter. I don't think the homebrew matters. Honestly. Okay, Emma says she lent money to Kate because Kate was desperate for cash. But here she says that Kate bought lots of new jewelry. So if Kate buys a lot of new jewelry, then she needs cash. And if she needed cash, then I think there's something here. How can she buy lots of new jewelry if she's always needing cash? Oh, damn, Thai food. <laughs> Nightbot got you for something. Oh, too many capital letters. <laughs> oh, what did you say? Jewelry, she bought jewelry often. That may be something. Huh, you didn't even say a foul language. Oh, well. All right, let's try this jewelry. Yay! <laughs> We did it! So you lent money to Kate because she was desperate, but she bought loads of jewelry and things. So why were you lending her money? Well, no, it's because, um... It was... It's... It wasn't about money. Was it, Emma? No. Go on. What was it really about? We were arguing because she was going to blackmail Ryan, the guy from Atlas, over an affair he was having, and then tell his wife if he didn't give her the money. Ryan's affair with Kate. No, I don't know. I think he was having an affair with another student and Kate found out. And why were you involved? Because I didn't really agree with it. I didn't agree with what she was doing, even if he did have an affair. Were you friends with Ryan? No, I'd never met him. You just thought Kate was wrong? Yeah. Oh, that bitch was having mm, an affair with not Ryan. Sure about this. Emma's oh. either on a moral crusade, or there's another reason she was worried about Kate blackmailing Ryan. Ah, black ball, more like it. <laughs> Emma's a slut. Uh, let's see, who's Ryan? Ty, uh, Ryan is one of the... Uh, instructors for the Atlas course. Damn, my fire went out. It got cold up in here. Hold on one second. Let me look over there. Jeez, it burnt that fast. That burnt through. That burnt through fast. A lot of wood. All right. I'm just going to have to sit here and freeze 67 degrees. That's not bad. Ryan is probably not that big. <laughs> no, he's just a pimp. All right, so... Super. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Let's see what we got. Oh, got to call the chief. Got to call the chief. I'm going to take the camera down for one second. I'm going to go and get a... Refill my water while the chief talks. All right, Sapphire, we'll see you later. Have a good night. Is it Jenks by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like more stop news. calling it turns me. Turns out the argument between Emma and Kate wasn't about money. Apparently, Kate was going to blackmail Ryan Rand because she had information that Ryan was having an affair with a student. Emma was trying to talk her out of it. How did uh, Emma find out about it? Well, they were friends, so I presume Kate just told her. Policemen don't presume, Jax. They find out. If Emma was trying to talk her out of it, she must have had a reason. There's something missing, Jax. Find out what Emma had to do with it. Okay, thanks, Chief. Bye-bye. Okay, what do you guys think? I know, Chief needs to back off. He is, like, pissed. All right. You guys keep, keep talking in the chat and tell me where we should go next. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right, what did you guys think? He ate Splash. Uh, we all say Ryan. Go back to ask Emma more about Ryan. Um, here's Ryan. Oh, he's rich. Excuse me. Go see Ryan. Hmm. All right. No, I agree. I think that the inspector or they, the chief keeps getting mad that I'm calling over and over again. And 
Ryan, we haven't been able to talk to yet, but he has a house. So let's go talk to Ryan. Another Diet Pepsi break? No, I was drinking my Diet Pepsi and then I went to fill up my water cup and I thought, okay, I, I don't have to use the bathroom right now. And then after hearing the water flowing, I was like, okay, now I gotta go use the bathroom. <laughs> And my dogs won't go pee. They're just standing at the door because it's raining. It's not snowing here yet, Rich. It's just a light rain right now. So. All right, let's um, let's let's see if we can go see Ryan. Oh, there must be a contradiction. All right, there's got to be a contradiction. So before we can see Ryan. All right, so Ryan, it says, it doesn't say Ryan yet. It says there's still a contradiction. So what do you guys think? Who is still contradicting themselves? Jennifer says Emma. James says the affair is a euphemism. <laughs> the affair really means, okay, I'm gonna let my dogs in, but we gotta find who has a contradiction. So Jennifer says, now you, James, James is so stoned. <laughs> I like how they didn't show pot. They just showed a hookah. <laughs> they should have had him out there smoking a doobie. Um, Emma or Simon or the black mirror guy. James is too stoned. All right, let's go back. Ask Rebecca if Ryan knows better. Oh. Oh, Rebecca's his wife. I think. All right, let's see. Um, I just realized my video was off. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so let's do... Well, God, we only have four characters, so we either have Rebecca, we have James the Stoner, or we have Simon and Emma. And I don't know, is Simon and Emma dating, or are they like friends? Because they seem to kind of have something going on, but maybe not. I can't quite figure that one out yet. Uh, Rich says, sick in bed. Oh, Rich, I hope you get to feel better. Um, ask bitch Rebecca if Ryan knows Rebecca. <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense. Ask Rebecca if Ryan knows Rebecca? They're married. They gotta know each other. Um. Ah! Oh my god, I thought I was gonna fall backwards. I have the chair on tilt, rocking. Ah! But then I can't get back up. Ah! Oh. Feverish. Ah! Ah! Nice. Jay says, don't call my girl that. Hold up. Where do we find Ryan? I don't think we can find Ryan yet because when we go to Atlas, he doesn't answer the door. And I think that's because... Um, it says there's still a contradiction somewhere. So before we can move to that level, we have to find out where the contradiction is. So... James thinks we need to talk to Rebecca to see if Rebecca knows Emma. We can't ask them direct questions. 
we can only ask them about certain spots and there's no question to ask if they know Emma. Jay do be simping for Rebecca. <laughs> That's right. All right, so we need to go. Rich says we need to ask Simon. Let's wander over back to Eden Lodge where Simon and Emma are. What bullshit. All right, let's go and talk to him. I'll oh. ask you a couple more things, please. Very polite. All right, what do we need to ask? So... So he saw Kate at Atlas on Friday. Okay. Uh, doesn't know anything about that. Nothing, nothing. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Screwdriver, box of old bottles. Homebrew. I don't think homebrew makes anything about it. Nothing there. Broken pennant. Thinks Emma had a similar necklace. Kate wore that necklace in college. Broken window, doesn't recognize the mask. Ask about the freedom necklace. Oh, I did. Uh, Simon says, thinks Emma had a similar necklace and then Kate wore the necklace at college. I really think it's that. I think it's Emma. I think Emma's been lying the whole game. Let's go check out Emma. I'm Leave sorry. Later on, if that's okay. I think Emma's been lying the whole game. I mean, we've caught her in like five lies already. This bitch is lying. She is lying. We just need to figure out what she's lying about. Right? All right, so let's start at the top. Last saw Kate Friday, not Thursday. Kate appeared her usual self, argumentative, drink problem, didn't see Kate very often. Last saw Kate in the college library on Thursday. But we know that's wrong because she lied about that and she actually saw Kate on Friday. Now, doesn't know anything about the driver's license. I don't think the driver's license really has anything to do with anything right now. But it is a cool driver's license, I will say that. All right, drop the silver key. You know what's weird about driver's license? So there's some countries and uh, Europe, uh, the European Union and the United Kingdom are two country, two not well, one country, one union, that they allow American drivers to drive with a state issued driver's license. So when I have visited Ireland and England and Germany and all these places between all those, they allow you to drive with a driver's license. The only thing they recommend you do is before you go that you get an international, um, I, I don't know, international driver's license. It's not a driver's license. They basically interpret your license into that country. So say you're going to Germany, they interpret that you have an American driver's license that's valid and they they say it in German. So that way they know what it is. It's pretty cool. But anyway, that driver's license looks way cooler than mine. All right, anyway. Yay, three zeros in my number. Nice. Jay says, what even is a drive license? A driving license. <laughs> a drive license. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, anyway, back to the story. I don't think the bike matters. I don't think that the bottles matter. I don't think the homebrew matters. Pendant, uh, we kind of already went through the pendant, I think. Freedom necklace. Broken window, I think we've already figured that out. Um, cardboard mask? She might be lying about that, but I don't know. Argument. 
We found her in a lie. Look at these two lies in the in the argument. Um, Kate wanted to blackmail Ryan over his affair. Tried to pursue Kate, not to blackmail or persuade Kate, not to blackmail Ryan. Has never met Ryan. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold the phone. These are new. These are new since the last time, since we found out that she was lying before. She says she's never met Ryan, but down here, she said she went to an Atlas once. Uh, oh, hold on. Went to an Atlas seminar with Simon, only went to Atlas once. Had been to a similar course before. So she went to Atlas and Ryan teaches Atlas. So she must be lying. Hold on. Went to Atlas seminar with Ryan. Where's the other one? Argument. Here she says, I have never met Ryan. Nothing matters anymore. What happened? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, why should she care? Good one, Jen. Wait, she says she doesn't know about the mask, but she went to a meeting. Oh, that's a good point, too. Let's try that one first. Hold on. Mask. Haven't seen the mask before. But... No, no, I don't think that's it. It's not it. Look, but let's replay the an the answer. Hold on. Ever seen this before? Nope, I haven't. Sorry, I think I'd have remembered it. Hmm. Okay, so haven't seen mask before, but. Went to an Atlas seminar assignment, only went once. That's what he picked, right? No, that's not it. This is what I was thinking. She is a terrible liar. <laughs> she smiled. Uh, this is what I'm thinking. She said she only went to an Atlas seminar with Simon. Right? And then here, uh, here, she told us in the last lie that she has never met Ryan. So how could she go to the seminar but never meet Ryan? Whoa, how did I get way back here? <laughs> okay. I got to adjust the tension. I don't know where to adjust that at. I don't want to just fall backwards. Uh, I can't reach it. I'll have to do it later. All right, so let's choose this one. Ah. Yes, there we go. You said you went to an Atlas meeting with Simon. Yes. That's interesting because I happen to know that Ryan is the main lecturer at Atlas. But you say you never met him. Why did you say you don't know him? Okay, I, I, need, I need to tell you something. I just need to make sure Simon doesn't find out. I won't be telling Simon anything he doesn't have to hear. And you can't tell Rebecca either. Go on. Okay, so the affair that happened was was between Ryan and I. I was having the affair, and Kate knew. So Kate was blackmailing both of you? No, she didn't care about me. It was part of the course, you see, having to take all these risks. She thought it was funny to turn her back on Ryan. She thought I wouldn't care. But you did. Yes, I was already with Simon when Ryan and I, you know, and I didn't want Simon finding out, and Kate thought that he wouldn't, but I didn't want her risking it. And then if Rebecca found out, then Simon would definitely have found out, and then it would have blown up and it would have just been a big mess. And so you just argued and what? <sighs> well, she just stormed off and broke a window. And that was it? You didn't see her again that night? No. Are you sure? 
<laughs> yes. I promise. This girl lies so much. Yay, we made it to 7 p.m. 7 o'clock. So, Ryan's a bit of a Lothario, is he? I think it's time I met this Ryan Rand face to face. Oh, yeah. Time to meet Ryan. Let's go meet Ryan. Whoop, whoop. Jacob so wants to find him as Insta. <laughs> All right, let's go meet Ryan. This guy's getting some steps in, I will tell you that. I will tell you that he's getting some steps in. Look at this phone, it's just sitting here in the hallway. This place is badass. All right, try the lounge. Ryan, open up. Yes. Ryan. Oh. Yes. He is Jones. not cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. He is not cute. <laughs> Come in, Inspector. Thank you. <laughs> I thought he was going to be cute. He's not cute <laughs> at all. He is not. <laughs> Oh, not at all. So you wanted to speak to me? I believe that uh, Kate Vine was a student at Atlas. Kate Vine? Well, yes, she was. All of this has been thoroughly investigated, Inspector. It was suicide. Well, we have reason to believe there may be rather more to it than that. Really? Ooh. Then, in that case, I'd be prepared to assist in any way possible. Thank you. Pleasure. He does some, have some under-eye baggage going on. James says, Ryan likes spirits, chess, and pussy. <laughs> God, James. Uh, Jacob says, I wish they included Emma's last name. It would make it easier to fight her on Insta. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Dang, talk about simp. We're going to have to rename Jacob Simp tonight. <laughs> oh. All right, anyway. Jennifer is blushing, y'all. You better watch it. All right, so let's see here. I've been turning the thing off because it's easier for you guys to read the screen. I'm kind of covering up part of the screen, but I'll turn myself back on for now. All right, so we're going to ask, we're going to start from the top. I believe the last time you saw Kate Vine was at the pub last Friday. Then you came straight back with some of the students. Is that right? Uh, yes, I like to have a glass of port or two after a long day, and benefits of being married to the landlady. How did she seem that night? The landlady? Kate. Oh, Kate. Uh, well, she was her usual self, drunk. That was usual? It was for her, yes. I mean, it didn't impair her ability, though. She was a very bright star, lots of potential, very enthusiastic. So she seemed to be enjoying the course? Well, as far as anybody could tell, yes. <laughs> when did you first meet her? Uh, when she joined, about three months ago. And you hadn't met her before then? No. So you didn't suspect there was anything wrong? Well, do you mean did I expect her to drown herself? Of course I didn't inspect her. It was quite a shock. Nobody expected that. Damn. All right. Ask about the driver's Have you license. Seen this before? Not that I recall. You don't know whether Kate had lost this or not. I, 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 no, I've, I've never seen it before. Sorry. Hmm. Never seen the license before. Doesn't know if Kate lost the license. Does Simon Thompson ride a bike? Do you know? I think so. Yes. I, I think he drives as well, but I might be mistaken. 
That guy looks so sus to me. Have you tried Simon's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? <laughs> no, I haven't had the pleasure, sorry. Nobody likes Simon's homebrew. <laughs> they just want to get, they're like, no. That shit's nasty. <laughs> Know what this is? Yes. It's a freedom necklace. <laughs> uh, it's a symbol that we use on the course. It's supposed to represent freedom from the chains of your ancestry. Have you ever bought one of these? I haven't, but I've seen the students wearing them. Helen says he's like a narcissist. He is a total narcissist. I... What do you know about the broken window at the back of the pub? Oh, uh, Rebecca told me about it. I don't know how it got smashed, though. I told her to tape over it. We can't have anybody cutting themselves. You have to be very health and safety conscious these days. <laughs> yeah. What an asshole. Can you tell me about... This. Haven't seen that for a while. We had a friend who used to make them for us for the course. He passed away last year. What does the uh, symbol mean? Uh, it's borrowed from paganism. It's the symbol of the triple goddess. The mother, maiden and crone, represented by the waxing and waning of the moon. Uh, it's an ancient symbol. It predates Christianity. Some people say that it dates back to Paleolithic times. And is that uh, relevant to the course? Well, no, no, no. I mean, it, it's a symbol we, we dabbled with, but it's not particularly relevant. We don't use it on the course, no. Ooh, it's a symbol who's dabbled with. Ah, that's interesting. Do you know anything about an argument in the pub last Friday? In what time? I believe it wasn't long after the pub opened. Jacob? <laughs> I usually leave for the manor house about six. Uh, I start preparations around 6.30. I like to get a head start. Tell me about this. Ah, it's, uh, it's the first one we ever had made. We had it designed by an agency after we'd spent weeks trying to Trying to find a name for this place. It took you weeks. I don't like that, Inspector. I thought it was a rather grand name. Actually, if I'm being honest, I plucked it out of thin air one night in the George while I was having a few gin and tonics. Well, actually, somebody left a book and I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of weird. Uh, okay, uh, Jacob says he looks like my dad, kind of. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's interesting. James says, what did he die of? Who's he? Um, James says, who is the new edgy? I haven't seen my dad in like nine years, so I don't really remember. Oh, Jacob. Gonna make me sad. Jennifer says, so Rebecca was wrong. She said it was Simon. But the guy has been dead a year and Simon was only going there th like three months or something. Uh, are you talking about whose mask it is? Oh, who made the masks? Okay. I don't know who made the masks. Uh, cardboard mask is just mask made by a friend who died last year. Symbol represents the triple goddess. Symbol not used on the course. Have you seen one of these before? I believe that uh, looks like a scrying mirror to me. You have seen one before? Hmm. Well, I, I, I used to have one myself, actually, along with lots of other bits and pieces of that nature. Silly things, you know. Really? 
yes, I, when I was in my teenage years, <laughs> I had quite an obsession with that kind of thing. I, uh, I was a very somber child, uh, and, well, not that you could tell, always playing fantasy games, reading books about that kind of malarkey, you know. What sort of books did you read? Well, uh, books on black magic, not the chocolates. Um, witchcraft, satanic rituals, that kind of thing. I, I grew out of it, of course. But you're not into that sort of thing now. <laughs> of course I'm not. Uh, I mean, I don't need to believe in the supernatural, Inspector. The natural world is far more interesting. Don't you think so? No. We don't. <laughs> All right. Jay says, I'm going to make some chicken fried steak. <laughs> Jay. Are you serious, Jay? Are you going to like bread the chicken and fry it? Or are you gonna, do you have chicken fried steak already? Because I am really wanting some chicken fried steak and gravy right now. That sounds so good. I'm so hungry. He was Satan new AG. Oh God, let me check this out. Rebecca said it was Simon's. Okay, so... Chicken fried steak confuses me. Well, you would... Uh, chicken fried chicken confuses me as well. Let's go. All right. I have it already. Oh, okay, I see. I thought you were going to get the mallet out and like start beating their meat and then and then breading it and then frying it. Uh, Rich says munching on some BBQ chips. Mm. All right, Jennifer says go to Rebecca. All right. We'll see you. What's this guy's name? Okay, I forgot. That's it for now. Thank you. Was it Rand? Or Paul, Paul. <laughs> oh, Ryan. A few more questions, if you don't mind. All right, let's ask about, oh, where's all the stuff at? Okay, so we're asking about the mask. Suggest asking Ryan about the mask. Mask used on the Atlas course. Mask allows students to role play. Thinks the mask is Ryan's. James says, beat the meat. Whoa! Uh, best your meat raw. Oh, God. <laughs> Second murder. Tell Rebecca about the affair. Oh, you can't tell her anything. What? What are you barking at? You can't tell her about anything. You can just find contradictions in what she's saying. Uh, the game was made in like 2014. What? Who cares? Oh, you're thinking Emma looks bad now. Thank you. Okay. Probably be back later. Jennifer, I don't see the question we need to ask. I think you got Simon and Ryan mixed up. That's okay. James says the mask has fertility god symbolism. Ah. Better see Simon again. Okay, let's go see Simon. What are we going to ask Simon about? Oh, about if he drives. We need to ask him if he drives. There you go. Come on. 
<laughs> Did you see him roll his Charles eyes? Charles Lewis, what is that? Uh, chili pork. Oh, no idea you were a cook. Oh, no, 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 I used to. Used to be more into it. No, I don't do it so much. Used to grow my own herbs and everything. Not oh, here? Uh, no. Uh, at the farmhouse where you used to live? Oh, where was that? That's where James lives. Yeah, we used to share a house together. The farmer used to let us use a corner of his greenhouse to grow stuff. I didn't know you knew James that well. Well, didn't really get on. Where are the greenhouses? Oh. Well, it's just through the farmyard at the back. Interesting. Okay, he said that he didn't. He said that he didn't know James that well. Oh no, that was the girl. <laughs> oh, that guy is Jimmy, isn't he? Oh wow, he is with a hat on. Nice. All right, I thought that he didn't know him that well. <laughs> but apparently he does. He lived with him. Uh, right here doesn't seem James very often tried selling it but only told it to James maybe he doesn't seem James often and then wait where's that other part oh that's not a selection thank you probably be back later That's all for the moment. Thank you. I feel like we need to go back to the farm. Did Simon say there was another greenhouse at the farm? Yep. That's what I was thinking. Where's the other greenhouse? Simon another greenhouse on the farm. Must be up the hill over there. Ah, by the larger greenhouse. There we go. Ooh, we got a magnifying glass. I wonder if James knows this is here. Don't know what it is, but it'd be interesting to see what he says about it. <laughs> it's like a bag of weed. <laughs> it's like, oh, I wonder what this is. Oh, uh, Lord. Let's go ask James what this bag of weed is. He's going to say it's cilantro or something. Cilantro. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Could you tell me what these are, please? I found them in the greenhouse. Be snooping around on the farm, have we? It's called investigating, James. Yeah. 
Just mint. Mint leaves. For cooking. Yeah, I, uh... I heard you were a bit of a budding chef. Dabble a bit. Won a few competitions. Very impressive. So you normally just leave packets of mint lying around? Must have dropped it. Ooh, must have dropped it. Hmm. All right, so. Packet contains mint leaves, won some cookery competitions. Be back later on if that's okay. Be back later on, if that's okay. Let's go back over and see. All right. Oh! Who's that guy? Private eye. Uh, no, I'm a police inspector. Who are you looking for? I'm investigating a death in the village. That student, then. They did one last year, too. Same place. Did what? Drowned a student. Ask that psycho about it. He runs that business cult thing up at the, the big house. Uh oh. Punching nut jobs. <clears throat> Uh, uh, hey, uh, what was the student's name? Liam... something? Or sod? Interesting! Atlas reputation precedes them. I think I might call the station, find out a bit more about this Liam. Speaking. Mike, uh, it's Jenks. Right, Jenks, I thought you'd clocked off tonight. Yeah, the chief's put me on a case tonight, the Edenton girl. Friday night, you poor sod. I thought that was sorted out anyway. I wish it was. Listen, are you near a computer? Uh, I can't be. Yeah, go on. Do you know anything about a death last year? Someone called Liam in Edenton Village? Uh, I don't remember it. Hang on, someone. Edenton Village. Uh, yeah, Liam Rogers. It's a suicide. Last year. Suicide? I've got two suicides in two years, both on Eden. Maybe you've got your work cut out, Jenksy. Yeah, don't I know it? Right, well, good luck with that and see you Monday. Thanks, Mike. Interesting, okay. All right, let's see the chat here. Uh, hobo. Uh, cleanest hobo ever. Hobo Joe. We're going to meet a private eye. You never seen hobos in Texas. Then. <laughs> uh, yeah, the music is pretty intense, isn't it? Okay, let's go back over to the... Um, woods all right we already went this way oh no that's the other way hold on back we need to go this way all right uh the jetty let's go to the jetty nope nothing there Go left to the woods. Let's go further in the woods. All right, uh, to the clearing. Oh, someone's getting a blowjob in the forest. Oh not no, he's not. Sorry. Public property, please. What's it to you? Oh, well, who's I'm this? And that's supposed to make what difference exactly? It means you. Do exactly what I tell you to do. Oh, or kinky. Or you arrest me. No, I'll give you a fine this time. So, if I do something that you don't like, I have to give you some money. What happens if you do something that I don't like? 
You're going to give me some money? Look, I do not have time to discuss it at the moment. Very good, Go. Jay. It's very rocky. Uh, Pathetic. Oh, I thought he was going to kiss him. Oh, what is that? Yeah! What a prize brat. But why would he carve that into a tree? Either he's a diehard rock fan, or there's more to that symbol than meets the eye. Okay, how did he draw that so well, carving it into a tree? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's much cuter than the other ones. Uh, that girl was Emma's friend, Jacob. Don't be trying to run off with Emma's friend. All right, let's get rid of this. Okay, let's go and talk to um, Ryan. Let's ask Ryan about that drawing. Couple more questions, if that's okay. All right, let's ask about, uh, actually, let's ask about the uh, marijuana. Do you know what this is? Looks like uh, chopped tea bags to me. <laughs> what is it? I just thought you might know. I don't know anything about plants, Inspector. What you should do is ask Rebecca. She knows far more about these things than I do. Oh. Uh, messy things. <laughs> Growing things. <laughs> She knows about the marijuana. What can you tell me about Liam? Oh, Liam. You mean the boy who committed very unfortunate, isn't it? Did you know him? Oh, yes, yes. Well, well, I say know him. I met him in the pub. Seemed very happy sort of person. Well, I say he seemed happy. He can't have been, can he? If I did this, would that mean anything to you? It's a devil sign, isn't it? Is that what you're getting at, Inspector? This is not something you use on the course. Of course it's not something we use on the course, Inspector. I don't even know what that could possibly mean, exactly. Ha! Ah, everybody knew it was the devil signs. Interesting. All right, so... James says devil horns. Thai food says Ryan is the most sus right now. Jay says plants. Hmm, you never see anything about plants. He is sus. Nice. Murder. All right. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's go. Um... Oh, uh, we have to go ask Simon, Emma, James, and Rebecca about all this stuff. Uh... I'm pretty productive for an hour of work here. All right, here we go. For sure, Ryan is sus. <laughs> Back and forth all the time. All right, let's talk to Emma first. A few more questions, please. Thank you. You know what these are, by any chance? No. Sorry. I I don't know anything about plants or things like that, but you should ask Rebecca. She used to live on a farm. She'd know. Why does everyone keep saying plants? 
What do you know about a student called Liam who committed suicide last year? Um, only that I didn't know him really well. If I did this, <laughs> would it mean anything to you? <laughs> it's just a... No. <laughs> Why? It's okay. Thanks. It just does like this. Can't show a picture or anything. Just has to do that. All right, so let's go uh, see that's Simon. It for the time being. Thank you. Ba -ba -ba. Know what these are? No. Look a bit like sage leaves. Haven't seen them before though. Not at all. No. Sage. What do you know about Liam? Liam? Local lad. Took his wife. Oh, that Liam! Yeah, yeah, I heard about him. But you didn't know him? No, I... I know he went to college, but... Didn't really know him. It's sad, though. If I did, uh, this... Would that mean anything to you? <laughs> Who did you see doing that? Someone in the woods, carving it into a tree. That was Kyle. It, it's a guy from the course, he's an idiot. And where does he work? I can't remember, somewhere outside the village? The three fingers thing is something the students started doing. It's something from the course. The, uh, the three freedoms. The what? The three freedoms? It's from the course, it's um, a phrase. Free to be free. Free yourself from the things that are holding you back. Right? Uh, things that stop you being successful. What are they? There's uh, uh, fear of failure, uh, guilt, and uh, a doubting, uh, a self doubt. You believe that? Yeah. Guilt ruins lives, it stops you looking forward. It, it serves no practical purpose, it's basically destructive. Right. Free to be free. Not the most original slogan, but I wonder how far this freedom goes. Hmm. All right, so now we need to go Thank you. Probably be back later. We need to go see Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca's pub, yeah. Ring that bell. Ask you a couple more things, please. All right, let's ask about the marijuana. Do you know what these are? Oh, magic mint. Where did you find this? Magic mint. Salvia divinorum. I used to grow it years ago. It makes you trip. In what way? It's a hallucinogenic and legal. Quite a dangerous combination, really. Do you use it? <laughs> Me? No, I don't even take medicines. I um, I like to stay pure. Oh. I didn't expect Rebecca to know about growing drugs. I know she claims not to use them herself. <laughs> I'm not so drugs. sure. Uh, all right. Liam. What do you know about Liam? You mean Liam who took his life? He used to play in a band, Black Rock or something. No, Blackstone. Um, very gothic. I used to let them play in here sometimes at the weekends. They were quite good. Did you know there was anything wrong? I mean, why he might have... No, I, I didn't know him very well. So Liam was in a band, used to uh, let Blackstone play in the pub, didn't know Liam very well. If I did this, would that mean anything to you? 
Why is it meant to mean something? No, no, it's okay. Oh. Ever heard the phrase free to be free? Do you mean the Atlas thing? Yes, I have. Know what it means? It means being free of guilt. What do you think about that? You mean, do I think it's a bad thing? Do you? I mean, surely if you have done something wrong. Oh, but that's the point, Inspector. Most people spend their time feeling guilty over nothing, and that's not a good thing. Hmm. Uh, all that's right. All for the moment. Thank Let's you. go talk to James. James! We're coming to talk to you, James. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Did you know Liam? Liam who? Liam who died. You mean Liam who killed himself? Yeah. He was in my year, on a different course. What course was Liam on? Can't remember, not mine. What was yours? Plant science. First time I knew about Liam was when he killed himself. Right, so you didn't meet him? No. Hmm. If I did that, would it mean anything to you? Yeah. It's a Satanism symbol. Satanists use it. Have you ever seen anyone using it? Lots of people. Politicians, presidents, CEOs. Have you ever seen anyone local using it? Not that I remember. Hmm. Ever hear the phrase, free to be free? Heard anyone use that? Nah. What is it, a song? No, I don't think so. Doesn't matter. All right, tell us about the drugs. Ever heard of salvia divinorum, James? Was that skin cream? <sighs> it's not a skin cream, no. It's a plant. Really? Don't know much about plants. So you've never heard of Salvia? No. Liar. He never heard of Salvia, but he knew that... He knew that the leaves were dried mint leaves. But he's never heard of Salvia. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> be back later on, if that's okay. I thought that would be it. All right, let's go back and ask. We got to go back and ask the other one. How much does James really know? You should also call the chief for an update. There are also some things you haven't asked Simon, Emma, and Ryan about. Let's go talk to Simon and Emma. Then we'll go hit up Ryan. Oh God, this woman. Ask about a few more things, please. All right, tell me about, oh, V. Hey V, how are you? Scared me. I know he lives on a farm and has greenhouses, but he doesn't know about plants. Do you know the phrase free to be free? Yeah. It's an Atlas thing. I first heard it when I went with Simon. What did they say about it? They said that you shouldn't feel guilty if you do something wrong. I don't agree with that. No? No. No, I think you should feel guilty if you do something wrong. What did uh, Simon think? I don't know, but I don't think he agreed with that either. Ooh. Ellen. Ellen. Ever heard of 
of Salvia Divinorum. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. It's a drug, isn't it? Yeah, hallucinogenic drug. Ever tried it? No, no, I've never taken any illegal substances. Liar. Everyone's lying. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? Salvia Divinorum? Uh, no, Magic Mint, same thing. Oh, yeah, you mean the drug? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard of that. Yeah, I've never tried it. But well, once or twice, yeah. But it's not really my sort of thing. It messes with your brain. I've never tried any other drugs either. Well, nothing like that. Nothing hallucinogenic. Liar. Everyone's <laughs> lying. Thank you. Probably. All right, let's later. go ask Ryan. Hey V, this is called Contradiction. It's a murder mystery. Let's go in the woods. I live back in the woods, you see. The woman and kids and the dogs and me. Session, do you mind? I'm terribly sorry. I'll leave you in peace. Whoa. Couple more questions, if that's okay. I thought that was a masturbatorium. Kazoo says uh, his degree is plant science. <laughs> that's hilarious. Contradiction 5, same creators of the... Oh, Contradiction, same creators as the Jimmy game. Yes, that is true. Uh, we need to ask about this. Can you tell me a bit about the phrase free to be free? <laughs> free to be free, my favorite motto. Well, we teach our students that people, uh, well, they suffer from excessive guilt, don't they? Excessive self-criticism, excessive doubt. Evils of excess, we call them. <laughs> and we tell our students that if they rid themselves of these evils, then they're free to realize their full potential. Who came up with all this? I have a background in psychology. Honestly? Yeah, don't look so surprised, Inspector. <laughs> uh, there's an intellect lurking in here. When did you come up with the phrase? Uh, when we were based at the village hall. Uh, when I say we, I came up with the phrase, uh, Dad's more the money man. And very successful at it too, I hear. Oh, he's successful. Uh, but he's not a creative man. Dad suffers from a, a lack of imagination. Ooh. Have you ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? No. Um, what is it? It's a hallucinogenic plant. A legal one. At least for the moment. I've no interest in drugs, Inspector. My job. That's the only drug I need. As trite as that may sound. Do you know any students who may have used hallucinogens? No. No. My students aren't interested in that kind of thing. Besides, no one is allowed drugs or alcohol onto the site. I don't think anyone has ever brought drugs to Athens. Do you have any medicines on site at all? No, we're not allowed insurance purposes. Oh. James says, what woman, what kids? You must have very hot be breath consistently drinking every sound. Yes. Uh, Thai food says, I'm going to go now. Bye. All right, Ty. We'll see you later. Thanks for stopping in. He's not all cock, some brain, too. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's. Thank you. Here. Probably be back later. 
I think it's going to tell us to go talk to the chief. How much does James really know? Oh, we got to go back and talk to James. Come on, Jimmy. Tell us what you know. Go over to Abbey Farm. Oh, maybe there's got some stuff lurking around. Let's go back up and look in the uh, greenhouse. Nothing. <laughs> that was going to be something. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Nothing. Alright, let's go back and talk to Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy! Ryan, not tell the truth. Excuse me. A few more questions, please. I told you that 20 minutes ago. <laughs> All right, what questions do we have? We ask about that, that, that. We asked about everything. God, there's a lot of stuff. That's all for the moment. Thank yeah, you. I don't know what else he would know. Let's go talk to the chief. Oh, right here. Call the chief. Oh, he's pissed. Hey, Chief, I've been asking around about Liam, the student who died last year. Quite a few people knew him, it turns out. Also, I found out that Simon Thompson used to live with James Wilson at the farm. They used to use the farmer's greenhouse to grow herbs. Really? Two students growing their own plants sounds a bit dodgy. Exactly what I thought, sir, which is why I went to have a look at the greenhouse at the farm. Found a packet of leaves, which turns out to be something called Salvia divinorum, hallucinogenic plant, legal, unfortunately. Yeah. And what does James Wilson say about that, eh? Yeah? Not much. Uh, we'll have another word with him. Find out what he does. No. Okay. Will do, Chief. Uh. Dang it. You missed it. Ask him why he doesn't know Magic Mint yet has degree in plant science. Oh, I didn't know he had a degree in plant science. Somebody said that earlier. Kazoo earlier said that too, degree in plant science. I must have missed that. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. All right, so where does he say plant science? Oh, right here. James's degree is in plant science. And then what was the other thing you said? Uh, he doesn't know about plants. All right, have a good night, Jacob. All right, doesn't know about plants. Uh, this one. Ah. Yay, you guys did it. So, your degree is in plant science, but you don't seem to know anything about plants. <laughs> well, still got a lot to learn. So you're still saying you've never heard of salvia. Didn't say that. So you have. Maybe. And you do grow it. Yeah, it's legal. Why not? What do you do with it? I use it for explorative purposes, meditation. And does this involve anybody else? Why? Do you sell it or give it to anybody else? Sure. Yeah, it's just for me, nobody else. And that's the only drug you grow, is it? Feel free to go and look if you want. It's okay, I'll look later. 
the only drug he grows. <laughs> Not sure I believe that, James. Then again, would someone growing illegal drugs bother growing a legal one? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. All right. All right, what do you guys think now? James has been trying to tell you. Wow, wow. Jay says, I saw him spike the camera. It's so awkward, it breaks character. Oh, that's true. Um, all right, so doesn't know much about plants. Okay, so here's the new stuff. So these were a lie, never heard and doesn't know. His new is he grows it <clears throat> for his private use, uses it for meditation, and doesn't grow any other drugs. But uh, what do you guys think? Doesn't know much about plants, but heard of saliva. What do you think about now he says he grows this for private use, but up here, uh, the homebrew, he says he trades his herbal tea for Simon's homebrew. I think that could be a contradiction. Uh, uses it for mephitation, haven't heard of a private use saliva. <laughs> I'm going to say here he says he trades it for the homebrew and down here he says he grows it for private use only. Aha. Uh -huh. When you say herbal tea, do you mean salvia? Probably. So you traded salvia tea with Simon for his homebrew? So? So why did you say you didn't give salvia to anybody else? Did you give it to anybody else? How many people did you give it to? Did you give it to Kate? No. How about Liam? I didn't have anything to do with him dying, if that's what you mean. So you did give him salvia? Yes, I gave him salvia because he asked for it. But that's not what killed him. Well, he committed suicide, James, because of psychological issues that probably weren't helped by him trying hallucinogenic drugs. He didn't commit suicide. You don't know anything about him. You don't know what happened. OK, so what happened then? Do you even know about Third Eye? Go on. You don't know about Third Eye. You don't know about Third Eye. You know nothing about Liam's death. I mean, forget salvia. Fine, tell me then. Third Eye was a cult. We had our very own psycho cult operating right here from our village hall. And I got rid of them single-handed. I'm the one who got rid of Third Eye. Did they tell you that at the station? Okay, start again. They were what? You don't know anything, do you? Look. They were reeling in students, pretending to be some sort of happy life course, you know. We can make your life better sort of crap. Then they were putting everyone through this brainwashing program to make them compliant and selling them on. It's all there. What do you mean, selling them on? Selling them. Objects, commodities. To who? 
to anyone who could afford them. Top politicians, famous celebrities, wealthy businessmen, you name it. What for? You don't get it, do you? Third Eye were making and selling slaves. They were black market slave traders. They were wiping people's personalities using ECT, brainwashing, cocktails of hard drugs, deliberately turning them into perfect slaves. You know how much slaves are worth on the black market these days? No. Millions. And I'm talking per slave. That's why anyone who stood up to them and threatened to go public like Liam was just killed off. They didn't give a damn. So you're saying Liam was murdered by Third Eye? Exactly what I'm saying. So I started looking into it. <laughs> they were all saying it was suicide, but there's no way. So, did you ever actually meet Liam? I found out about him. And how did you find out about all this other stuff? Well, it's obvious you can tell. I met some of the students. You could see straight away there was something wrong. They were like zombies. And I can tell when someone's got ECT damage or when they've been through mind conditioning. It's just obvious. I mean, the US military used all these techniques back in the 50s. It's all documented. You can read about it. They showed all the same signs. So did you ever actually go to a meeting? No, but I knew what went on. How? From what people said who'd been through it. Okay, so do you know anyone I could speak to who did go through it? Well, no. Look, it doesn't matter. Why did they close down if it wasn't true? They just closed down and disappeared overnight after I put all the flyers up. Bit of a coincidence. But that was just after Liam died. Yeah. And do you think that had anything to do with it? Maybe, but, but it was the flyers that forced them to close. <sighs> okay. Do you mind if I keep this? Yeah, you investigate it. It'll all come out. Third Eye definitely killed Liam. Well, that was a lot to take in. That was, was a ton to take stuff? in. This is the first I've heard about Third Eye. Question is, what's their connection with Atlas, if there is one? Ooh, the mask Third Eye. Remember, she had morphine in her system. Yep. Similar course, similar course. All right. So, wow. We got a lot of stuff. That's okay. All right, we need to go talk to Rebecca. Questions, if you don't mind. All right. Have you seen this before? Don't take any notice of that. Why? James Wilson is a fantasist. He spends his time pretending to cast spells in the woods. He's not exactly a stable person. And um, I heard that he was involved with growing cannabis. Really? Don't quote me on that. So you don't think there's any truth at all to this? None at all. She's lying. Thank you. Probably be back later. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen this? Yeah. It was all over college last year. James made it. Idiot. So you don't agree with what I'm saying? No, I don't agree with anything James says. He's absolutely crazy. He thinks that the government has been controlled by aliens, that we're all bugged. He's nuts. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Have you seen this before? Oh, is this the thing that James did? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. What do you know about all this? A third eye, I think they were called? I don't really know anything about it. I mean, I've heard about Liam's death, but 
All I know about Three Eyes or whatever is, is on this flyer. So you hadn't heard about Third Eye? No, sorry. Interesting. Hmm. Hey, Ben, how are you? Oh, Ben, we wanted to ask you if this is what your pub Thank looked you. like. Probably Hold on. Be back later. We wanted to see if this is what your pub looked like, Ben. Hold on, right here, Rebecca's pub. Is this what your pub looks like, Ben? We'll go inside. Recognize this? What about the restaurant? All right, we'll see if this is what uh, Ben's restaurant pub looks like. Oh, he said no. <laughs> well, damn, I thought this is what it was going to look like. All right, what were we supposed to do? I forgot. Uh, you haven't asked... Oh, okay. Let's go ask Ryan. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Yes, more questions. We're going to ask you about the third eye. Did you know about this? Not much. So you've never seen this before? You don't know anything about Third Eye? Well, I don't remember seeing it, now. You don't recognize any of the symbols on it? No, oh, sorry. Oh, that's a contradiction. Because he recognized this symbol at the bottom. He called it earlier. What did he call it? Uh, on the mask. The triple goddess symbol. Let's do that and let's do that. Ah. Yes. Ryan, you've just told me all about the moon symbols on the mask. Then you're claiming you don't know anything about the symbols on the flyer. It's all the same thing. Oh, actually, yes. Sorry. Yes. Yes, I do remember that. So what did you know about Third Eye? Oh, not much, really. Never came into contact with them. That explanation was way too short. Ryan's definitely hiding something. All right, what do you guys think? Fertility? God leaves the poor man alone, Inspector. <laughs> Streamlabs doesn't like me. Can't join the heist. Yeah, Ryan is sus. I've been doing pretty good. Okay, so he doesn't remember seeing the flyer. He doesn't recognize the symbols. Um... All right, so. All right, here we go. So he was lying about the bottom two. So the top two only knows what he heard about Third Eye, never came into contact with Third Eye. Did he ever have contact with James? Uh, 
No, but he did have contact with the third eye, he said, or he never came into contact with the third eye. But here he says, he says he's never seen this poster or never had contact with the third eye, but yet that symbol's on there. And here, um, no, that's not it. Uh, Okay, so here we go. So we know that the third eye was meeting at the village hall, right? And he said the phrase here, look, the phrase was invented while based at the village hall. So he invented the phrase Atlas phrase while he was at the village hall. But here, he says he never came into contact with the third eye. But the third eye, James says the third eye always met at the village hall. So he must have come into contact with them some way. So, I think that that is contradictory. Let's try that. Where's the other one? Um, Village Hall. Aha. Ooh, yeah. According to the flyer, this third eye group was based at the Village Hall. Is that right? Was it? Ah, that's where you were based, wasn't it? Um, yeah, you said you invented the Atlas phrase free to be free while you were based at the Village Hall. So I did. So you must have come into contact with Third Eye at some point. You were using the same hall. Well, I'm afraid I haven't been entirely honest with you, Inspector. Ooh, Go on. sus. You see, Third Eye, Third Eye is or was Atlas under a different name. Sorry. Atlas is Third Eye. In a new, improved form, yes. And you ran Third Eye? With Dad, yes. So you must have known Liam. You didn't just meet him, did you? Yes, I knew him, Inspector, but don't get your hopes up. All of this has been thoroughly investigated and cleared up. You've been investigated about his death? They dropped the case. We didn't have anything to do with it. Well, when I say dropped the case, I mean, a police investigation is one thing, but what the public thinks is another. They threatened to go public, and then James... Bloody Wilson started distributing his flyers, and that was it. No choice. It was an end to it. You had to change the name. We'd already paid the family an out-of-court settlement. We thought that was an end to it. But then James, his cronies, they wouldn't leave it alone. So we had to close down, buy a new place, rebrand. So eventually, we reopened here. As Atlas? As Atlas. And it worked? Uh, up till now, yes. So you knew James Wilson too? We knew James, but he didn't know us as such. Oh, he was very quick to shoot us down, but he didn't do anything like actually coming to the course to see what he was about. So James wouldn't know that you were now running Atlas? Not unless he came to one of our courses. And how much of all that stuff was true? ECT machines, brainwashing... <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid that that exists only exclusively in the mind of Mr. Wilson. All we do is make better business people. We challenge their prejudices and presumptions. Why don't you come along and see for yourself? The course starts in 15 minutes. Excuse me, Inspector. Ooh, that's true. Graham Norton for sure. Well, you have my card. Hey, Ernestine. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, Michael Kane. 
Uh, that was Dad. I, I have to go back. You can come and meet him if you like. No, I might come and have a chat. Come with me. Yay, we made it to eight. To be perfectly honest, Dad's a great businessman, but he lacks imagination. He does, however, believe in the power of the individual when taught by the right teacher, of course. Ryan! In here. Just coming. He's through here. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Detective Ooh, Inspector Jeff look at that, that voice. A death in the village. I believe you knew Kate Vine. Oh, I thought all this was dealt with, Inspector. You do know that Kate Vine was a gherkin short of a big mad. You do know. Father. You must forgive my son, Inspector. He still can't summon up the courage to come straight to the point. So what do you want to know? Well, a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I do mind. I'm a very busy man. Try asking an intelligent question. Like, do I mind being quizzed about a once promising student who turned into a useless drunk? Ryan, would you mind leaving us for a while? I'll go back to the centre. I have uh, one or two things to prepare. Um, only if you need me dead. You may begin, Mr. Holmes, although I'm not going to be able to help you. I don't have much to do with the course nowadays, so I can't give you any hard information. That's as maybe, but we No, need... that's as is. But if you want my opinion, I'd be quite happy to give it to you. So, uh, far away. Okay. Thank you. Damn. Well, Paul certainly doesn't take any prisoners. It's obvious who's pulling the strings in this family, and I wonder what Big they got break. up to in their previous guise as third eye. Eight o'clock already. How well did you know, Kate? Hardly knew her at all. Um, met her a few times. But the cause, that's about all. So when was the last time you saw her? Last uh, Friday. I just popped out to the course and... Uh, about seven. Did you speak to her then? It's possible. And how did she seem? Was she happy, sad, preoccupied? She was drunk. <laughs> she was drunk. Do you know if Kate had lost this? It's her driving licence. How would I know that? You didn't see it lying around anywhere? No. Ooh, I think that's sus. Did you know anything about Simon Thompson's bike? No. <laughs> it's just like, no. Ever tried Simon's homebrew? Simon Thompson? No, I haven't. I wouldn't touch anything that has had Simon's fingers in it. Have you seen this before? Looks familiar. Where did you find it? It was uh, in the woods. Presumably had something to do with Kate or a killer. Well, that's what I'm trying to establish. Shouldn't it be in an evidence bag, Inspector, in case of contamination? I didn't have one with me, unfortunately. Well, don't go testing it for DNA, will you? It's got yours all over it. Woo. What do you know about this? It's a freedom necklace. It's a symbol we use um, sometimes uh, in the ben. Little bird in a cage flying away. Um, freeing themselves from their past is the analogy. So do they get them when they join the course or something? No, 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 not as a rule. I think I bought one once as a present. Oh, not uh, for Kate, by any chance? <laughs> no, not for Kate. I can't really remember who it was for, a birthday present, maybe for one of the students. Which student? I've no idea. 
What do you know about this? Looks like a mask. You don't recognize it? Not particularly. Looks like a monarch mask. What's a monarch mask? Monarch is a fancy dress. Outfitters. Ryan goes there sometimes. Hmm. What did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? I didn't go to the pub last Friday. You didn't hear anything about an argument in the pub? Should I have? No, that's fine. <laughs> no. Could you tell me a bit about this? Had it designed by an agency. Hmm, and uh, when was that? Last year. Is that when you started the business? Yes, I suppose so. James says eyes wide shut orgy time. Ah. Have you ever seen one of these before? I believe it's a scrying mirror, pagan thing. Ever used one? Why would I use a scrying mirror? So you have no interest at all in this sort of thing? No. Does the Atlas course use them at all? Not at all. Strange question. Liam designed it. Know what this is, by any chance? I have no idea. Gardening isn't my kind of... Thing. Rebecca would probably know. I presume you've met Rebecca. Yes, I have. I'm sure she'd enjoy telling you what it is. She's the kind of woman who likes to feel superior. Would probably marry a millionaire and then decide to run her own pub. Yes, why was that? Well, she isn't exactly housewife material. She likes to be in control, like Ryan. Shame, isn't it, that... I'm in control of both of them. Very strange. How well did you know Liam? Liam who? Liam who took his life. Oh. Well... As far as I remember, he was a good student, confident, outgoing. You didn't notice any problems? I believe he had problems at home. Were you there when he died? Yes. And afterwards? You didn't see him after the meeting? No. What was Liam like that night? No. Well, apart from being drunk, or possibly because of that, he seemed perfectly happy. He was drunk? Well, I assume the bottle in his hand contained whiskey and not lemonade. Lots of similarities to Kate, don't you think? Drinking, depression, is that normal for the students? People come into the Atlas course for quick solutions to their problems. And when they don't get them as quickly as they might have liked, sometimes their impatience gets the better of them. If I did this, would it mean anything to you? I presume you've seen an Atlas student doing that. Ah, so this is an Atlas thing. Well, it wasn't exactly our idea, 
the students started doing it spontaneously to show commitment to the cause. Cute, really. Which student did you see doing that? I'm not sure, but he was carving it into a tree. I told him to stop. Did you really? Why? Defacing public property. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What's the punishment for that kind of thing nowadays? Prison sentence? Oh, it's usually a fine. All right. What about defiling public liberty? Does that carry a fine too? Oddly enough, the student in question argued a similar point. Is that something you encourage on the Atlas course? We encourage people who put ideas first and moral anachronisms second. The problem with the law, Inspector, is that it's out of date. Well, I suppose that's a matter of opinion. However, you still respect it. Respect it? I abide by it. We all play by the book, Inspector, but that's only because of the threat of possible incarceration. Hmm. Can you tell me a little about the Atlas phrase, free to be free? Where did you hear that? I was talking to one of your students. It's a little phrase we conjured up to summarise our objectives. What is your objective, if you don't mind me asking? Mine? Or do you mean the course's objective? On the course. The objective of the course is to free people from bondage. We teach that most people are crippled by their past, by guilt, their attitudes, their beliefs. All that kind of nonsense. Guilt cripples people. Feeling guilty in business is like a meat eater feeling guilty in an abattoir. Guilt comes from the archaic emotional centers of the brain. It's a vestige of our animal ancestry, that's all. In business, you heed it at your peril. I'm sorry, Inspector, my house appears to be haunted. Would you mind closing the door? So, you believe that guilt has no place in business? None at all. I have few beliefs, Inspector, but that's one of them. And what if you have done something wrong? <laughs> well, that's the whole point. Guilt has nothing to do with it. Hmm. Interesting opinion. Have you ever heard of Salvia Divinorum, or Magic Mint? Sounds like it might be a drug. It's a hallucinogenic plant. Legal, as a matter of fact. I'm not a drug taker, Inspector. I have no enthusiasm for voluntarily poisoning your brain. And you've never seen anyone on the course taking it? Well, if someone had, they wouldn't have done it openly. We don't allow drugs or alcohol in our course. We like to tell the students that success is the best drug. Whether you buy into that, of course, is another matter. He's really good. What do you know about this? So you've been graced with Goebbels' company already, have you? James, our local minister for propaganda. I suppose Ryan already told you about our actual previous incarnation. He explained, yes. Did he tell you anything scandalous? Not unless you count the suicide. Oh. These things happen. Was it your idea? The suicide? Third eye. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> it was. As my son had started to atrophy, I decided I ought to give him something to do. And Third Eye was the same as Atlas, teaching business skills. Very similar. So Liam's death didn't prompt you to make any changes? There was nothing we could do about Liam's death, Inspector, any more than we could do anything about Kate's. It was out of our control. You can't blame me for wondering, Paul. Two student deaths in two years. It's called a coincidence, Inspector. 
I expect they ate fast food also. But you're not investigating all the local chippies, are you? Ooh, Ben, what's a chippy? All right. So, what do you guys think? This guy's good. He's like scary. He reminds me of uh, Professor Snape on uh, Harry Potter, the way he talks. All right, so let's see. Fry place. Mmm, that sounds good. Fish and chip shop. Yummy. Chippy. It's actually easy how they acted, V, if you think about it. Every scenario. Hmm. All right, so here's something that stuck out to me. On here, he says that Liam had been drinking all night at the seminar. But under the drug thing, he says Atlas does not allow drug or alcohol on site. So if they don't allow it on site, how does he know that Liam was drinking the whole time? He would have had to have known about the alcohol, but they don't allow that on site, right? This one. Aha. Aha. If you don't allow drink or drugs onto the site, why did you allow Liam to drink whiskey all night? Well, we did give him various warnings. Did try to stop him, but uh, didn't work. <laughs> but you let him stay on the course? Yeah, well, we couldn't throw him out. This isn't a primary school, Inspector. We're not the police. We can't enforce these rules. If they pay their fees, they're entitled to stay on the court. And what if they want to take drugs? As long as they do it with discretion, frankly, I don't care if they want to wipe or inject paint stripper all over their faces. Do you store any alcohol at Atlas? No. Is there a kitchen? Why, do you want to go down there and check? Well, obviously you wouldn't mind if what you're saying is true. Of course I wouldn't mind. It's past the lavatories down the corridor, but you won't find Ooh. any drugs in there or alcohol. Whether I find alcohol at Atlas or not, it probably isn't particularly relevant. But it's worth a look anyway. Ooh, let's go look. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I get the feeling I might be seeing a lot of Paul tonight. Wait, where is it at? Uh-oh, 
there's a car, an Audi. Ooh, nice. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Uh, I thought we were going to go see the kitchen. Be back later on, if that's okay. Guess not. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the Atlas kitchen. God, how do we get all the way down there? So the kitchen must be down the corridor there, if what Paul said is true. Interesting. Well, there's a TV right there with a DVD player. I don't think anyone will mind if I have a quick look at this. It said do not move on it. Ha! <laughs> All right. Try... Oh, Peeves, what happened over there? You got hit. You got hit by, uh. You got hit by Streamlabs bot for saying porn. That's it? Well, that was odd. Looked like someone pickpocketing. But why make a video of it? that society had traditionally believed to be virtues. Self-criticism, self-doubt, guilt. Ladies and gentlemen, these are not virtues. These are sins. Born of a fake morality implanted deep within our minds and collective consciousness by governments and religions through the ages with the sole purpose of preventing the masses, stopping us, Damn. From achieving the same success, happiness, and freedom enjoyed by those at the very pinnacle of society. I'm going to show you that common morality is nothing more than the cynical creation of an elite desperate to stay in power. Yikes. An elite hell-bent on preventing you <laughs> from reaching your full potential by making you feel guilty for pursuing success. But the good news is that you can take back control. Take you control. You can become the success you deserve to be. Yes. Atlas will give you a unique and powerful advantage. Yes. Life in all its technicolor glory can be yours. Yes. All that you have to do is to stay, embrace it, enjoy it, and learn to love your ambition. And pay the dues. Welcome to Atlas. <laughs> oh, is this the same one?
Same one. I'm not going to watch it again. You need uh, to drink it up in all of its glory. That's right. What else is going on at Atlas at the moment? There are also... Oh, we have to ask some more people. Okay, let's go see what else is going on. Maybe they have the... Um, maybe they have the... Uh, thing in the atrium still. the hell then wait for the moment to break free then break free <laughs> excellent Hannah <laughs> well could you come back later please what's going on here please leave sorry Ryan there's a few more questions I have to ask you yet and uh, time's ticking by That fire looks so fake. Uh-oh, what, what did I find? Oh, the doll burning ceremony. A strange doll burning ceremony was witnessed. Nice. All right. We got to go ask everybody about the new stuff we found. Uh-oh, someone's keychain broke. Let's go talk to Simone. Simone! Eyes wide shut for sure. It does look like a fire filter. <laughs> uh. All right, let's go. Let's ask Simon. Ask you a couple more things, please. All right, Simon. We need to know about the suspicious DVD porn. Have you seen this before? No. No, sorry. Okay. What do you know about doll burning? Not on the course. It's a ritual thing. It's uh, getting rid of things that you don't need. Throw it into the fire. And that's a good thing? Well, yeah, it helps you getting rid of things you don't need so you can move on and take control again. So what are the masks for? They're just to help you get into the right frame of mind. Uh, just get you into the zone, you know, help with the trance. A trance? Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, it's like self-hypnosis. We do it on the course sometimes. It's just to help you get into the right frame of mind, you know? So you hypnotize yourself. How do you do that? Just stare into a mirror and chant something, you know, just say the same thing over and over again. Or you could just close your eyes and put yourself into a trance. Some people can do that. And that's safe? Well, yeah. Hypnosis doesn't work the way that most people think it does. You can't just be hypnotized if you don't want to be hypnotized. But you can learn to hypnotize yourself. What did you say it was called? Auto-hypnosis? Self-hypnosis, auto-hypnosis, same thing, really. 
I think Simon was a bit too quick to play down the role of auto-hypnosis on the course. Mm. I'll have to uh, ask around about this. All right, let's go okay, talk to Emma. Thank you. Emma, we need to know about this porno. Have you seen this before? No. I don't think so. It's a porno, Emma. What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? I think it was something that they did on the course. Simon mentioned it. No, they didn't do that when you were there. No. Emma knows a lot about the course for not being there, but more than once. Do you know what auto-hypnosis is? Um, it's some type of self-hypnosis, isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever tried it? No, I haven't. But I think Kate was into it. She learned it from when she went to Atlas. And what did she tell you about it? Um, not a, not a lot, really. I think it helped her. I think she used it as a sort of self-meditation. Interesting. Okay. Now Thank let's you. go talk Probably to Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca. Ooh. Oh, we're back at Ben's pub. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, the porn, James, was the XXX video. <laughs> Do you know anything about, about this, this porno? No, sorry. Ask Ryan. What do you know about doll burning at Atlas? Only that it's part of the course. I'm not entirely sure what they're for, but I made dozens for him. You made them? Oh, Ryan can't make anything. He's practically dyspraxic. Hmm. Ryan is practically dyspraxic. I don't even know what that means. Do you know anything about hypnosis used on the Atlas course? Are you sure you mean hypnosis or the power of persuasion? What's the difference? Not a lot. But if you want someone to do something, it's usually easier to ask nicely. Atlas used persuasion techniques. Well, don't all businesses use it, Inspector? Ever heard of advertising? True. Thank you. Probably be back later. All right, let's go talk to uh, James. Naughty, naughty. Shame on the porno. Ask about a few more things, please. All right, let's ask him about porno. Seen this before? No, what is it? Do you recognize it? No. Should I? What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? <laughs> what sort of doll burning? <laughs> it doesn't mean anything to you. No. Should it? No, that's okay. Uh. What a little cutie patootie. Ever heard of auto-hypnosis, James? Self-hypnosis? Yeah. And what do you know about it? It's another name for scrying. Some people call it auto-hypnosis, I call it scrying. 
Right. So you're saying scrying is just self-hypnosis? Scrying? You can scry on anything. I don't use a mirror. I can scry watching the clouds. Maybe the water on a lake in the moonlight. And when you're watching the water, what happens? You go into a trance? You lose yourself in your unconscious. You go deeper and deeper. You swim around. Try not to go too deep. Because if you go too deep, you start drowning. Then you get dragged down to the bottom. As long as you stay swimming, come to the surface again. Then you wake up and see the world as it really is. Like a journey to a place people talk about, but no one's ever seen. You're thinking about Kate, aren't you? What makes you say that? She bought a mirror. Sold her one last year. Was she into using mirrors like that? No idea. But she bought one. Right. All right, we got everyone in here. Uh, for the moment, thank you. Now let's go talk to the other guy. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Seen this before. The writing looks familiar, but no. Hmm. What can you tell me about doll burning at Atlas? Not very much. It's one of Ryan's ideas. My son is under the illusion that he's a genius. Can you tell me more about the auto-hypnosis techniques used on the course? We don't use hypnosis on the course. Not at all? Not anymore. So, how was it used? Hypnosis is probably the wrong word, Inspector. It's nothing to do with the trances or things like that. It was... It was meant to force... <coughs> to help students. Did you force them? You can't force anybody into being hypnotized. You have to want to be hypnotized. It's not something out of your control. You can't be hurt or damaged in any way by hypnosis. So you've never put pressure on students to enter into hypnosis? It would be impossible to do so. Hmm. Be back later on, if that's OK. Be back later on, if that's okay. Paul and Ryan both need to be asked. Oh, jeez. That was Paul, wasn't it? I thought we asked Paul. Isn't that Paul? Any more questions, please. All right, he asked him about the DVD. Thank you. Probably be back later. One of the good things about England is you can drink when you're 18. I started when I was 16, but I'm legal because I'm 19. Ah. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Oh, I got my bag stolen. The DVD. Oh. Took. Someone clearly wanted that back. Nice and helpful of them to leave a piece of evidence behind, though. I got ambushed. Thank you. 
Sure. The fob looks like it opens up some sort of lockup. There are also things you haven't asked Simon, Emma, James, Rebecca, Ryan, and Paul about yet. Uh, okay, let's try to use the fob. Ooh, Monarch Costumes. Is this Paul? This is Paul. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Um. Have you seen this before? No, I don't think so. You don't recognize the shop? No. Is there someone else who works at Atlas? Someone who may have been there tonight? No. There's a cleaner. Comes at strange times, but then... He's a strange boy. Work experience. As a cleaner? Well, we did try him in accounts, but it didn't work out. Hmm. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. So, I wonder... We do have to ask James about the thing. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Whose bag is this? Seen this anywhere before? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Thank much. you. Probably be back later. Questions, if you don't mind. Do you uh, know the shop? Have you used it? No, but I know where it is. That's it. 
Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Seen this? You know the shop? Yeah, yeah, I know the shop. I hired something from them last year, I think. This for a party, I assume. Yeah, yeah, something like that. There are no help, none Be of back them. Later on, if that's okay. Who have we not talked to? We talked to this guy. Talked to, oh, Rebecca. We didn't talk to Rebecca yet. more questions, if that's okay. Have you seen this before, anywhere? Well, I know the shop. A costume shop just outside the village. Ever used it? Not personally, but I think Ryan might have. Ryan, that bitch, where is okay, he? Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. He's gotta be up here. No, it's home. Yes. So, those are Ryan's guitars, kept in a garage. Not really the best place to keep them. No, but they're probably noisy. Questions, please. Thank you. Does um, Ryan play the guitar? Ryan? Ryan couldn't get a tune out of a radio. He's tone deaf. Okay, so he's never tried to go professional. If he did try, it was never going to happen. Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. Ask you a couple more things, please. Please? Does Ryan play the guitar? <laughs> He tries. He does keep wasting money on them, though. I think he believes if he buys the right one, he'll suddenly turn into Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> nah. Sad, really. I just 
let him play in his room as long as he plays in there I don't mind Thank you. Probably be back later. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. What do you know about Ryan's guitar collection? I know he plays, because he tried to buy one off me. Do you play? I used to. I used to be in a band, but I was a singer as well, so I got away with it. A singer as well? <laughs> yeah, I used to sing in a band every night. But uh, sometimes it was in a pub, but usually at Rebecca's. What was that called? It was called Blackstone. And uh, this guy from a record company once came to see us and he said the band was rubbish but that I was good. So after that I don't think they liked me much and then we broke up after college. Can't hide talent. Chris. <laughs> That's all for the moment. Thank you. This is a murder mystery, what do you know Chris. About Ryan's guitar collection. Uh, not a whole lot. I know he brought a guitar to one of the groups once at the end of one of the stages. That's the only time I've seen him with a guitar. Hmm. Oh, Rebecca's guitar. Be back later on if that's okay. Hold on. She said she used to be in a, a pub band called Blackstone. And Ian is, or Liam was in Blackstone, according to Rebecca. But Emma says that she didn't know Liam very well, but yet they were in the same band? Not. Aha. That band you sang in, Blackstone, who else was in the band? Um, just a few people from college. Including Liam? Yeah. Why did you say you didn't know him? No, it's, it's not that. I just thought you meant that I didn't know about his suicide. Did you? No, I was <clears throat> away on a holiday. When he died? Yeah, I only knew him through the band. She definitely knows more than she says. She She's was doing Liam you. and Simon and... Not sure I believe you, Emma. Ryan. I think. Thank you. Probably be back later. I can't find Ryan. The hell is Ryan? Let's call the chief. Message 
Alright, thanks, no. Jay. We're gonna Did end pretty that, soon. Was it I don't think so, sir, but obviously someone wanted it back. Put a bag over my head. What did it do that for? I have no idea. Have a good what night, Jay. Did, did you keep the bag? Yes. Right, we'll find out where it came from. Someone must know about it. Alright, Chief. I'll, I'll call later. Can't wait. Alright. No, I don't think so. Let's see. We need to go and ask about the bag. Ask about a few more things, please. Ah! I'm sliding down. Mm. Ah, okay, there we go. All right, bag used. Doesn't know where the bag is from. Atlas Cleaner visits at strange times. But when he was talking about, uh, what was he talking about? I thought he said something about his son, or Ryan. Ryan his son? Ah, oh, here we go. He says, hasn't seen the mask before, thinks mask is from Monarch Costumes. Ryan uses the shop. But, Monarch Costumes. But, down here... The bag, he says, Monarch Costumes. He says, doesn't know where the bag is from. Obviously, he does. Aha. Contradiction. Do you visit Monarch Costumes a lot? No. I used to go in there occasionally. Why? But you do know the shop. Yes, of course I do. You see, Paul, I thought you said you didn't know where this bag was from. Why? Well, Maybe I do. This was used to put over my head, Paul, by a mugger. Would you like to tell me something? Are you suggesting that I had something to do with your mugging? Did you? You really ask the most ridiculous questions. Of course I didn't. So why did you lie about the shop? Well, I didn't have anything to do with your mugging, Inspector, but I might know of somebody who did. Go on. Did Ryan mention Jason to you, the cleaner? Unfortunately, Ryan, at some point, told Jason that the DVD mustn't be removed from the site. So, when he saw you take it, he simply thought that he was doing us a favor by uh, getting it back. He isn't exactly what you'd call one of Darwin's best examples. So what's on the DVD that's so special? All right, it was something I did myself, a little stunt I pulled to amuse the students. What kind of stunt? I pretended to steal from the students. I emphasized the word pretended. The students knew all about it afterwards. Everything was above board. Steal from students? Why? We were doing a piece about pushing the limit, so I decided I, I would show them how it was done. Oh, don't look so serious, Inspector. I returned everybody's things immediately afterwards. No harm done. And when was this? Last year sometime. At Third Eye or Atlas? Third Eye, I think. And this was before or after Liam died? Well, since you'll probably find out anyway, it happened to be on the night that Liam died, as it happens. Before you ask. No. I didn't steal from him. Do you think it's a good idea to encourage students to steal, Paul? I wasn't encouraging students to steal. Policemen are so literal. Life is shades of grey, Inspector. Much as the force might like it, it doesn't divide neatly into blacks and whites. 
Now, if you don't mind, you'd have to excuse me for a moment. You know where the door is. Oh, snap. All right, let's see where we're at. I see he was quick enough to claim he didn't steal from Liam. What kind of stunt was that anyway? And Liam dying later the same night? It's just all a bit too suspicious. Very suspicious. All right, so we got all of these fun scenes done. Wow, look how many we got done. All right. Zero cheats. That's good. 44% progress. All right, that's pretty good. Five hours and 44%. Nice. Well, I think that we're going to call it there for the evening. That was fun. Um, I'm going to save and exit. Perfect. All right. I saved and exited. Yay. All right. Well, we made it so far along. That's great. Let me get back out of my recline position. <laughs> anyway. Take that off. That back on. There we go. All right, so anyway. <laughs> All right, well, we made it through five hours of contradiction. We made it about halfway through the game. That was great. More complicated than I thought. A lot of thinking, um, but fun. I thought it was fun, and the graphics are great. It's a fun little story. Um, I think that it was fun that everyone in the chat got to help out too. So that was cool. Um, and we got to visit Ben's village and see Ben's pub. So I didn't see a carvery, but we did find out what um, a chippy was. So that's cool. Um, I did purchase that one. That is a purchase game. Uh, contradictions the same uh, the same game maker as at Dead of Night with Jimmy, so they're the same. When I bought one, and they said, "Oh, check out this other one," and I was like, well, "That looks cool," so I got both. Um, but it was nice taking a little visit to Ben's town uh, to see to see a lot uh, around. So thank you for that, Ben. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. I think a lot of people fell asleep <laughs> already, but uh, for everyone that lasted through it, thank you for uh, participating. Um, we'll have to pick this up another night and finish the game off. That was so much fun. We want to see what happens, and we want to see who was responsible for Kate's murder. We think it's a murder and not a, and not a suicide, so or a drowning or whatever it was. Um, so... Until next time, this has been great fun. Let me turn on some music. Rock out with the beep out. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining. We will see you guys next time. I think on Friday, isn't it? Yep. Friday night or Friday night game night. Uh, until then, everybody stay safe. Stay warm. Don't forget that you matter. You're important and you're appreciated here. That's it. My hat's about to fall off. And don't forget to say hi to the new chair. Hi, new chair. Finally. All right, that's enough. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining. Chief Turtle Hawk out.
The day the world died, nothing was Just one drink. 